Hello, everybody. How is everyone? We um, have someone that may have slept in. Um, I already checked. Okay. So, we are a party member short right now, but hopefully not for long. Um, does anyone want to say anything? Hello. Currently, I am spamming him. <laughs> yeah. Just the word. Um, just his name over and over again. Oh, we there's have Jam. A Jam. Here. Yes, I'm very excited for today. Uh, we need to change our names. Yes. <laughs> uh, yes, we do. Uh, Sydney helped me come up with this week's. I am Dinkle Minkle. Dinkle Minkle. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. That feels that. very fairly odd, parents. <laughs> True. Uh, it actually came from fairly odd parents because I jokingly was Dimadome Mimadome. Dimadome <laughs> Mimadome. <laughs> Everything. I really like Dinkle Minkle. Thank you, John. <laughs> well, hello, Michael. John. Michael. <laughs> that was <laughs> really confusing. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that one. It was just a voiceover. It's like, who is that? Can I, I put my video on? Second, Is that okay? like, yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah. You can for now. Maybe actually this would be a good opportunity while we wait for uh, the boy to, he who shall not be named to, his to <laughs> get a little background on John Michael, how we know him, how we love him so much. We have a new friend joining us today. Um, his little gnome arms can surprisingly hit snooze. <laughs> Very true. That's, that's Jet. Um, so, we actually played with John Michael before this campaign, he was, like, one of the, like, he was going to play with us originally, but, um, we had scheduling issues, and then Corona time, and then it was just, like, all of this, corona like, time. it's Corona time, but <laughs> he is here now, and he is here to stay, so we have a new cast member joining us. Um, his identity has been kept secret from me, so my bot will not know him, but it's all right. Oh, yes. Uh, you will get introduced to him shortly, and next session his info can be in the bot. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, I have sent Jet about 75 Snapchats oh, of yeah. just his name, so... <laughs> he is going to be... I have been blowing up his face. His face?! <laughs> Blow That's up his impressive. face. Wow. <laughs> that is a very different meaning. <laughs> I have been blowing up his phone. His phone. Um, like... Okay, should I do the same? No, that tomorrow. Can be fun. Yes, yes. Let's make yeah, it a game. We'll have them. It's a game now. Yay. So Whoever, we can whoever gets probably... Jet to, to respond to them first wins. Oh my god, okay, okay. Very good. Uh, as you can see, wake if up, my camera will show it... Up. Wake the up. chat history with Jet is pretty uh, <laughs> extensive. I love that. Yeah, um, same with texting. Oh, good. <laughs> and that's not even the calls. So I'm not even gonna try because he's gonna respond to one of you two first. Yeah, I was gonna say like you know, I don't even have. I think enough. that maybe we should just start. I feel like we should um, as well. I feel as though I have a pretty good grasp on cloud. Yeah. So, I feel like um, anyone does. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, when he joins, he can take over. He might miss our introduction to John Michael, but that oh, is his fault. Oh, he's gonna be so upset. It's okay, you can just watch the VOD. You can just watch the VOD. It's true. You can watch the VOD. VOD. we need to add you to our Snapchat group. Oh my god, yeah. Uh, yep. We Get can do one. that now, actually. And to the... Let's add you to the D&D &D Beyond campaign so I can have your character sheet open, please. That would be yeah. helpful. Oh my god, <laughs> now content sharing is enabled. It's always been in there. You're right, you're right. Just like in there. Yeah, you're right. Because I had right. Robert in there. That's my true. Little place Robert. Yeah, that's true. Robert uh, Robert was supposed to be his character for Strahd, mm -hmm. and then originally, he just uh, said... you missed that. He was uh, an Asimar disguised as a human. Oh, yeah. that, that would have been that really fun. funny. Goodbye, Robert. Goodbye, Robert. <laughs> It's been Robert. swell. No, Robert! 
It's been okay. swell, Robert, but alas. All right. Once he's been added to the campaign, let me know. Give me one second. Oh, shoot. Can you send me the um the, the <laughs> invite link? Yeah, yes. I can. <laughs> yes. And I was then, wondering if you would need that. So, yeah. did, did we have it to where he was going to... Oh, you just removed Robert before you invited the new character. I see. Yeah, yeah, that's Cause my content, bad. Because <laughs> content sharing is gone. Yeah. Right. Whoopsie. Here, I will chat it in Zoom to Perfect. John Michael so not everyone watching can join. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. We get 60 new characters in. Okay. <laughs> and I will I will enable content sharing now. Yay. Thank you very much. Uh okay. My everything... and class would go away. <laughs> yeah, everything should be shared. Sweet. Yep, there's Rogar. And Rogar. feel free to change your Zoom name. Yep. Uh feel free to change your Zoom name and then Ooh. Uh, I think that... Thank you, Danny Bay, for the Prime sub. <laughs> um, and then I think... Yay! <laughs> uh, I think that we can hide your video and we can get started. Oh, well. <laughs> All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Curse of Strahd. Uh, in case... You weren't here when we announced it. We're currently a party member short. Uh, we think that he's asleep and should be joining us in not too terribly long. Uh, where we left off, the party was searching for an artifact that was protecting the church. Mm. Uh, after talking to Father Petrovich, they discovered that this artifact was actually the bones uh, of an old saint. Um, and the bones have gone missing. He suspected the gravedigger Milavage, and they followed the mystery to uh, a drop-off outside of town, followed those tracks, and now Orson is peeking over the town walls, looking over what appears to be the coffin maker's shop. Who um. is Henrik van der Voort? I wrote it down. Is that the coffin maker? Uh, Henrik is the coffin maker, and then Harlan, your two prime suspects. Uh, oh. Harlan is the fisherman. Ah, yes. Okay. All right. What do you see? Um, I'm gonna... How far, how far am I from the ground? From where I'm standing? Uh, about 15 feet. Okay, so I'll whisper. It's the coffin maker. <gasps> Uh, I will add, on the map, you are right around here. You're standing on top of this little stone pillar. Mm -hmm. ah. uh, and you can see there's a few houses before you can see the stockyard. Okay. Yeah, so it's it's a bunch of houses and a stockyard, but the coffin maker's there, and we know we know that he was one of the, the people the that was suspected. The H name. Yeah. Cause, cause the note. Yeah. Okay, I think I think that we should go talk to him. I mean, maybe we could pose like we're we're in the market to buy a coffin or something. I don't I know think, who died. I think we should go well, we should go back and enter through the entrance. I agree. That's such a good idea. But who should we say died so that we're not looking suspicious just walking exactly. into the coffin shop? Should I alter yourself into a dick? <laughs> no. We don't need to physically have the dead body. <laughs> here's Maybe, a dead body. Build a coffin. Here's an idea. You know, we have dead body. We need a custom-made coffin. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe, um, like, one of our moms, like, no. 
because then that just gets sad. Maybe, um, maybe we know someone, like someone that was actually part of our party, and people will be like, but I don't remember seeing someone walking with you, and we'll be like, that's just because you need to get your eyes checked, but they were there the whole time. But now, they're dead, and we need a coffin for them because it was super sad. Um, maybe they drank a potion and turned it to a plant for a few hours, and then choked on soil? I don't know. Like, what, what are, what are our ideas? We can just, we can just say that, like, we have a close friend that died in the next town over. You know, that is much more simple. I like that idea. <laughs> Let's go with that. <laughs> I think I think that's a good idea. Uh, I start I start climbing now. All right. Uh, it's pretty easy. I'm not going to make you make a check or anything for it. Uh, you get back down on the ground and walk towards the gate to the town. Uh, this one is also guarded, but uh, even before you're able to pull out your your signature from Izek saying that you have authority to enter and leave the town. Uh, oh, yeah. You you make it back in I with should. no problem. The the guards the guards know who you are after your help with the burgomaster. Mm -hmm. So you make it back into town. The streets are still eerily empty, and as you walk towards the stockyard, uh, you can see that it looks like there's a storm on its way. Ooh. Oh, interesting. Something tells me that's not a very good sign, but yeah. I kind of I, I mean, ignore to it. be fair, it's always, like, cloudy and overcast in this town. Like, I rarely see the sun. So maybe it's not, like, something to be concerned about. It's just... I don't know. My patron, my patron is the god of death so normally well um if i me. remember correctly he's the god of murder which is slightly it's, different it's from death. probably a little bit worse it's, yeah. it's slightly different from death i don't know i'm just saying because like you know there's the raven you quickly queen. approach a sign <laughs> over the entrance to the stockyard uh it says erisek <laughs> stockyard uh inside you can see a bunch of loose wood, uh, as would be used by a carpenter or a coffin maker. And in the far corner, you're able to see a very bright and colorful um, carnival wagon. <gasps> Blinsky! Or no, not Blinsky. <laughs> or maybe. Okay. Can I help you? <laughs> <laughs> in in the other corner of the stockyard, across from the carnival wagon, uh, you can see what looks to be the coffin maker's shop. Uh, it's two stories tall and very Ooh. uninviting. Two it has a sign. stories. It has a sign that's shaped like a coffin above the door. How hence creative. Why you can, hence why you can imply that this is the coffin maker's. What a creative. Hey look, it's a coffin. I think that's a coffin master. Story. You know, that is such a creative way to decorate that's for so a coffin insane. shop. It is so just, it makes it clear that this is the coffin shop, you know? We should give yeah. our compliments. No, it's like, imagine what we were walking up when I said the god of murder, if that is the timing <laughs> that we walk inside. You know, it's not like the god of murder. Speaking of murder, coffins, no. Um, I would like, is the door closed? Uh, as you approach, you can see that the door is closed and locked, and all of the windows are tightly shuttered. I'd like to there knock, is... but I'd like to knock cheerily, like... There is a deathly silence hanging in the air after you um, knock. Hello? We need a coffin. Somebody died. Please. You're met, you're met with silence. And then after a moment, you hear a very hoarse voice call out. Leave me alone! Um, you know, I would accept you're, you're the owner of a business, and I need your um, product. <laughs> We're well, closed! Go away! Then do you know somewhere else that we can get coffins? Because like I said, somebody died? No response. I'm gonna make a wisdom save really quick. Okay. <laughs> oh god. Um, oh god. Damn it! Alright. I pass. Alright. So I don't um, I don't say what I was thinking about saying. 
Cloud is going to walk around the side of the building and look at the windows that are tightly shuttered up. He's going to see if he can kind of like peek through them. That makes sense. I... Uh, he can't. Rip. So he's going to curse under his breath and he's going to start like punching at the window. And that makes sense to me as well. Uh, the window, the shutters rattle in their hinges, and you can hear the old man inside yelp before going quiet again. Um, Talia, don't you have, like, the ability to unlock locked things? I don't think so. I don't know, maybe I'm getting confused. Do you have, do you oh, have, I have thieves, thieves tools? tools? I have thieves tools. <laughs> A spell? That's what I thought. Yes, I do. Shall I try? Go ahead. You can try. Oh, no, that's not going to work. Um, <laughs> let's see. Um, what do I add to that? Uh, dexterity and proficiency bonus. Yes. Um, seven. As... I was two. <laughs> oh, my God. As you kneel down and start to tinker with the door, you hear a guard kind of cough behind you and you like tink and quickly put away your tools. <laughs> mm. Well, I investigate? You can the, you can the try door. one more time. Uh Orson, go ahead and just make a general perception roll. Oh wow. No. Oh what God. is what's what's this roll? Oh, a one. <gasps> uh, you kneel down and try. You kneel down and try again, and your lock pick actually breaks off into the lock of the door. Rip. So not only did you break your thieves' tools, uh, the lock can't be used anymore. <laughs> I cast mending on my tools and fix them, but. <laughs> But the lock is still broken. Can I cast There's... mending on the lock? <laughs> it's not gonna remove the piece that's blocking the locking mechanism. Mm. Well... Uh, Orson, what did you roll? I rolled an 11. Uh, you look around, and it certainly looks like there's wood. Mm. Uh, there's tons of boards and such. Some that are cut, some that are just still in log form. But uh, as you look, like... As they get closer to the coffin maker's shop, there are actually some coffins. Uh, they're not very well made, but they're certainly boxes to put dead people in. Hmm. I'm gonna um, knock on the door. I'm gonna knock on the door again. Can All I right? put a firebolt in my hand and heat up the metal mm. of the lock? Mm. Um, Maybe we... not firebolt. Uh, Firebolt doesn't actually make like a ball of fire in your hand. It's like an energy blast that creates a little fiery explosion. Okay. Um, and there is a different spell for that purpose. It's called so I'm heat gonna metal. Say no. I know. Yeah, so I'm going to say no. <laughs> the spell but, I can learn, but... But very clever attempt. <laughs> um, Orson, you knock on the door and you are met with silence. We are kind of in a rush. I like kind of like I kind of like yell into the door. We're kind of in a rush, and we're willing to pay anything, just as long as like we can get your services, please. As I said, someone died, and the longer you just leave a body, the worse it looks, and we want to bury them while they're yeah, still Jessa, pretty. Jessamine, Jess 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 yeah, Sorry. I think he knows uh, how dead body <laughs> Okay. Cloud comes back around to the entrance and goes, "Well, if he's not gonna let us in, fuck it. Let's just break down the door." You know, that is very on brand. Um, um, I'm going to say, you know what? Maybe, maybe if we, I don't think we need to resort to violence just yet. Jessamine, it's not violence. It's a piece of wood. Well, maybe uh, we I could, could use catapults on the door. <laughs> <laughs> is that a request or are you doing it? Today is a chaotic day. That was a suggestion. I should have known it was going to be chaotic from the beginning. Uh, 
Cloud is gonna turn and smile and say, Good idea! I feel like... I feel like... You know I what? I need to make a check, right? Cause Sorry, what? I probably need to make a check to see if I would do it or not. Because of how intelligent... Sure. Uh, may I make an intelligence save? I'll say DC, DC 14. If you succeed, you won't do it. If you fail, you will. Okay, we're gonna see. My dice don't seem to like me today. So let's see. Okay, intelligence save. That's a 19. Wow. All right. so, she so you're not is gonna do intelligent. it. Intelligent. Cloud's gonna go, <laughs> and he's gonna try to break down the door. Can I? Can, can I, I stop can I, it? Yeah, can I react and like try Please. to stop it? Um, I would say make a grapple check for that. Can but I assist? Is... Can I go for the legs? Um, sure. Roll with advantage, Danny. Okay. Uh, okay. The uh, issue is, I don't think you're going to be able to beat Cloud on this because uh, not only is he very acrobatic he also has advantage on acrobatics checks to get out of grapples is it, so is it do i roll do i roll a strength check or do i roll a uh you roll check? athletics athletics oh that's a 20. uh he got a 25. so he's <laughs> able to slip out of your grasp and he's gonna lower his shoulder into the door and he hits the door And this little gnome lowers his shoulder and charges right through the bottom half of the door. Wow. It well, <laughs> splinters <laughs> through the wood. One way to and do And now it. there's a small person-sized hole in the door. Well, I forget being, forget, being, forget being stealthy. I like, I take, I take my uh, falchion and I just hack the rest of the door down so I can get through. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, you're able to pretty easily knock down the door since you have a tool. I, wait, before uh, he did though, I squeezed through the tiny person yeah. hole. I wait for him to go <laughs> sure, through. And I like, I, I go like this, and then I start hacking down the door. <laughs> right after Jessamine comes through, she opens the door as you're hacking it down. Uh, what do we see, Dinkle Minkle? You walk in. The room is dark. Uh, there are coffins haphazardly arranged around the room. It's kind of shaped like an L. I actually think I have a map for it. Oh my I god. Wasn't, I wasn't a dangus. <laughs> All right. You weren't a dinkle? <laughs> yes. Or a minkle. All right. Welcome to a black screen. Yay. Um, Yay. We love black screens. We really do. Okay. Uh, so the door leads you into... A large kind of L-shaped room with a bunch of coffins haphazardly thrown about it. Uh, uh, there are... It, it's empty in here and dusty and very dark. There's... I sneeze. Uh, the windows ha are still very tightly I shuttered sneeze. right now. <laughs> All right. Because of the dust. Allergies. Cloud just kind of goes, bless you. Thank you. I'd like to give Eyes of Night to Talia and Orzin to give them magical dark vision since it's kind of dark in here. And All I right. would like to uh, like tr still try to keep up the facade and go around looking at the coffins like, hmm, too small. Hmm, I really like this color, but maybe something a little more red. Uh, they all look I mean, the all exact the same. same. They're know. all very poorly made coffins. Okay. There are like Talia, holes in some of them. I know, I'm just, I'm trying to keep it up that we're like looking and we're trying to choose. Okay, we're shopping. Yes, but they're all the same and he probably knows that. I also think that breaking down the door has made it very clear what our intentions are. It's, it's, but I mean, maybe One of just the doors really... opens. Hello. Uh, this one over here, you can see an old man with a full head of white hair and a long, thick beard. I admire- What are you doing in my shop? I said we were closed. Hi, I just really admire your woodworking on the coffins here. And we just really, we, there was no other person that we wanted to get our coffins from than you. We have some questions for you. That as well. Maybe after Go the ahead. questions. Okay, yeah. Oh God. Orson? 
What? Am I am I am I the one asking the questions here? Yes, you're the scary one. I okay. I <laughs> would call myself um, a little. I can be scary if that is what we're looking for right now. I could. Mm. I could. It's Cloud okay. just kind of grabs your hand, Jessamine. Mm, okay, okay, totally. So, uh, we just wanted to know, have you heard about a, I don't know, particularly special set of items that was stolen from sacred grounds in the town? What? It's, uh, I don't know, like, uh, you know at the Abbey, there's like, a set of bones that, like, protect the town. Are you Henrik? What? Yes, my name is Henrik von der Voort. Were you at the end a few nights ago where there was a crazy drunk man rambling about a certain... Something well, cool there's, that there's might... There's always crazy play? drunk men rambling at the tavern. <laughs> We have reason to believe that you not only knew about the super secret item that we um, are in question about, but also may have taken it. Um, and the reason that we say that, no, bought it. You bought it. That's what it was. That's right. Paid for it. So it's not like black market stuff. Like I, you, you did the kind business is, good. But, kind of but is um, we unfortunately need it back and we went to the place that the the the, the item the secret item was sold and we looked I, over I'm the game i'm afraid that i have no idea what you're talking about does anyone inside. else work jasmine should make an insert yeah i'll yeah i'll just Go keep ahead. talking but talia could do that I'll just be like does anyone else work for you or make the coffins inside. i know they oh i should how about i help you <coughs> or you help me i'll I help just... you okay uh I'm just sure. like sure. Uh, I'm afraid there's not much that you can do to assist when reading a person. Yeah. Yeah. But. Well, I rolled really well. Um. Anyway, I got that. Say, if I can math correctly, twenty-two on the insight of this man. As you look him over, uh, it is very clear that this man is fucking lying to mm -hmm. you. He <laughs> is. Uh, he his forehead is kind of glistening with sweat and his eyes are very frantic and looking around the room as you talk hey on me now i don't want to have to call my super strong friend over here to do a little persuading but i think you know more than you're telling us and although i may also admire your woodworking on the coffin that's not why i'm here i'm make here make an intimidation check <laughs> oh, shit. I just launched. Okay. Nice. Nice, nice. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay. 14. It's not bad. All right. Uh, as you say this, his back kind of <clears throat> straightens a little. Uh, and he clears his throat and he... Argen Vestolt. All right. Say what again? Who? Argen. Arginvestolt. 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 Why does it he kind like? of, He kind of looks around and... Can we please take this outside of my shop? Oh, absolutely. Um, we may sure. come back later for the coffin. Um, but we could talk outside. I'm sure. Okay, let's uh, so you walk back out into the- here. It's all so flammable. Oh god. Oh god. Walk. I, I start, he's I start, all, he's start, already start, intimidated. Oh, he's I know. already intimidated. I start, um, I start pushing Talia. <laughs> as you walk out of the store- Start walking out of the shop. Uh, as you walk out of the shop, he visibly relaxes a little bit. He goes, I, I hid them in Arginvestolt. Mm, that's rather convenient. Um, why? Where is, where is Arginvestolt again? Uh, you do have an atlas. That's full right. Of maps yeah, we really in the do. region. Uh, Arginvestolt is actually close to where you were previously. Uh, it <sighs> is the mansion uh, that was set up to be a chapter of the Order of the Silver Dragon. 
Um, that's that's why it sounded familiar. So I guess my question is why? Um, Jet's awake. Oh, thank God. He just texted me. Uh, Anyways, continue. you win. You win. I, I win. You win the game. Actually, he says, I'm so sorry. Wait, when did you get the text? Because I got. He texted me too. When did? When literally did you just here? now. I got one oh, at okay. nine forty one. Oh, me too. Oh, mine oh. was also nine forty one. He responded. Okay. okay, we all win. You guys, all win. Win. <laughs> you guys are all winners. <laughs> all right. Anyway. Anyways, anyway. Yes. Um. I was. Offered a great deal of money, and you don't understand. My livelihood has been very threatened as of late. Uh -huh. People don't want to buy coffins. I mean, I don't... you've seen my work. I'm a shoddy carpenter at best, but I, I wouldn't say that. I mean. The holes are just natural protrusions in the wood. I wouldn't feel self-conscious about your woodworking. That's great. But um, who gave you the money? Or who offered the money? How did you get the money in the first place to do the purchase? A bag of about a thousand electrum was dropped at my door. with a very specific request to fetch a set of bones and take them outside of the town. Mm. So, um, this note, did it have a sigil or could we look at the handwriting maybe? Do you still have it? Yeah. I don't, I don't have it anymore. I was told to burn it after I read it. <sighs> That's very convenient. I was well, threatened. I mean, I was told not... that if I did not complete the task, then my life would be at risk. And that so is the entire town's life at risk. Yeah, that that seems pretty. No, it's okay. It's okay. Um, you're not necessarily in trouble here because you don't still have them, but uh, we do need to retrieve them. So any information you could give us, does the person know that you hid them at our Ginfenstolt? Do they know that you did that? Did they tell you to do that or did you do that? They just told own? me to, they told me to take them outside of town and our Ginfenstolt is one of the few bastions of good left in this cursed land. Sounds like someone wanted to leave this place vulnerable to certain people. And I try to wink at Orzin. Yeah. Vulnerable? It is a set of bones. Yes. Magical, they are arcane blessed. bones. They are what has blessed kept... by a god. They are what has kept this town <gasps> safe from certain individuals from entering and wreaking havoc. I don't know if I need to explicitly say Okay, I'm done who. with this conversation. Can we go? Um... Do what you must. You've already destroyed my door. I mean, well, you're, you you're didn't want to open the door. He turns you're around a wood carver. and I'm walks sure you could back replace it. into his shop. Say, I'm sure you could replace it. You're a woodworker. Just take a coffin, tear the little door off of that, and just attach the hinges. Just me, it's not... Just me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you, it's not that easy. Anyways, oh, we gotta okay. go. Quick. So. Like it sounds like it would, like maybe it wouldn't cover. Are you guys, whole, are you like, guys carpenters? Thing? Anyways, besides the point, we gotta go now. We don't Cloud, have a lot of time. Cloud's what? a gnome. Maybe Cloud knows more about this. I <laughs> actually agree with Orson on this one. I think that we need to get out of here and get those bones as soon as possible. Let's so stop go. arguing over a fucking door. Okay. Yeah, let's, uh, I can't believe we have to walk all the way back. I'm so <laughs> mad. Oh, oh, look who it is. I'm gonna make him drink a random potion before he gets <laughs> Wait, I just, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, sleepyhead. I know, I forgot to set my alarm, and I know, I know, I know, I know. One hour early? <laughs> 
That would have been really bad. That would have been really bad. Anyways, let's go. Uh, what you missed, uh, the party has just interrogated Henrik Vandervoort. I was scary. And now, now they're on their way to um, Argindestolt, which is the fort that you passed when you were on your way back to Valaki. Um, okay. So the... Taking the... a look at... Sorry. Uh, taking a look at your map, uh, you know that the fastest way to get to Arginvestolt from Valaki uh, is to follow the road west uh, over the bridge past the crossroads. Then, right around here, Cloud is going to be able to plot a course for you through the tree line, and that will take you right up to the entrance of Arginvestolt. Okay. Perfect. So a good idea. we were right. The coffin maker is who bought the bones, but okay. he didn't buy them of their own whim. So he said after I was intimidating, um, he said that he like had a bag of like a thousand electrum just dropped on his porch with a note that told him to buy the bones and take them out of town. So it sounds like someone went to a lot of trouble to make sure that Valaki would be vulnerable to certain individuals from entering. Do you think it was the cult? I don't know. Or was it Mr. Vanzerovich himself? Oh, yeah, probably, maybe. Okay, let's go. All right. <clears throat> I'd like so to you... skip. All right. Um, I take that that you'd like to travel at a fast pace? <laughs> I mean, like a medium yeah. pace. I don't want, like, if anyone's <laughs> walking to have to, like, rush to catch up with me. I'm just trying to... I, I You're know... the shortest one here. You're yeah. the slowest one here. I'm yeah, no, then I'm moving fast. I am skipping. Slowest. All right. I'll move at a So, uh you leave the town. Uh very quickly the cobblestone roads lead off into dirt and you are enveloped by trees once more. Uh you make your way over the bridge and <laughs> after about an hour uh, you've made your way to the tree line. Uh, luckily, Cloud is able to navigate his way through very easily, with this being his favored terrain. And sure enough, you end up right back on the path, and the path starts to lead up a mountain. Uh, this climb takes you a little bit longer than it normally would, but uh, after about an hour and a half, you find yourself at the gates to a fort uh, with words carved into the stone. Uh, none of you are really able to understand what they say except for one word in the middle, which is very familiar to all of you. It says Arginvastolt. Mm. Mm. Oh, uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me just check something really quick. Stop everything and wait one minute. I always I want to start using my tongues spell, but it's only for spoken language. Yeah. Yeah. So next time right. someone speaks, then I'm there. Then I got then us. You're, then you're then you're on it. I'm on it. The gate is open. <laughs> oh, can I make a perception check as I walk inside? Maybe All we right. should, like wait and see if we see anyone before. Can we, we establish? Can make... we establish? A party order before we walk in. That is a great idea, Orzin. I think we should walk together. Yeah, I think. Well, I was gonna say I think Orzin should go first. You still have that strength potion, don't you? I knew you were gonna say that. <sighs> maybe yeah. this is the time to, you know. Well, maybe we wait until we're like, you know, in danger. But oh, wait, it's something to keep in mind. I mean, I might as well drink it now, right? Because it's gonna be in effect for yeah, that's fair. however long. Yeah, did you write down how long it lasts? I think it was like uh, three days. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. I don't it's think pretty... it's three days. It'll last you about two or three hours. Yeah. Okay. That's fine by me. I might drink my oaken skin potion, but how long does it last? I might <laughs> drink one of my random potions, because I want to feel involved. Oh, well, 
You walk in through the gate as you're discussing drinking your potions. Uh, in front of you, you can see perched atop a 10 foot wide, 10 foot high cube of granite is a moss covered statue of a dragon. Its wings tucked in close to its body. Uh, the statue looks eastward toward the mansion and leaning against the block of stone, John Michael, would you care to introduce yourself? Yes, I would. Oh. Um, or rather, describe what they see. <laughs> so yes. So you uh, see a dark um, scaled dragonborn um, standing with a great sword. And he seems to be etching something into the great sword as you approach him. Um, I. Wait, hold on. Oh, yeah, I fail. I am. I have never seen a dragonborn in my life. So I kind of like pull out my falchion and I'm like. And I'm like. And I'm like, is this a monster? I'm ready to fight. Um, or is it Danny, a you speak uh, draconic. I know. <laughs> I know, I haven't ever seen a dragonborn in my life, though. He speaks to Connick, and he doesn't know about dragonborn. Exactly. I feel like Talia would know. That's everything. I love that. I'm gonna I just kind of send a person. Chat, change your name. Yeah. <laughs> do I make, like, an intelligence check to see if I would recognize it instantly, or do I just know? You know what a dragonborn is. I just kind of stop him. I'm like, it's a dragonborn. <laughs> and I'm like... Oh, okay. Um, hi. And I, and I like, and I like, awkwardly put there. back my sword. Um, do you live here? <laughs> I guess you could say that. That's great. We're looking for something very specific. Um, should should we like should we like say what it is? Like, I know well, we're speaking I mean, in code, but like, are we are we are we trusting him? Is that like a thing? Can I make an insight check to see if I trust him? I trust him, but like, you know what I mean. Go ahead. <laughs> you, I, you, I think Ooh, you already natural told me that you trust him. Natural 20. Natural 20. Oh, okay. Oh, she trusts him. Sure. Uh, your insight check reveals that, I mean, he looks pretty trustworthy. Cool. Um, he is, it looks as though he belongs here and cool. you are familiar with this order of paladins. Awesome. Awesome. Oh. Um, hi. So basically, okay, long story short. So these like bones like protected the town, right? They were blessed like a long time ago and so it was really important. And then someone found out about them and like broke it and stole them. And we were like, oh my God, what? And so we went through it and we questioned that person. They were like, oh, they were bought. We were like, but who bought them? And then we followed the footprints and we found out who bought them. And then we went to his shop. He's a coffin owner, and I pretended to, like ha that we had a dead friend that needed a coffin, you know, um, but we didn't. But anyway, we had to break down the door because he still didn't want to let us inside. We'll deal with that later. But um, he said that yes, he bought them, but he was told to bought them because, I mean, to buy them, grammar because <laughs> there was like a bag of um, electrum dropped on his porch with a note that said, "Please buy these bones and then like take them out of town." And then we got the information out of him that he took them here. Did he see so, the note? No, he, he said burn. he had to burn it. So I guess my question is, have you seen any mysterious bones? Um, what did this man look like? Uh, what did he look like? Old. <laughs> white hair. Oh, he had yeah. a white beard. Kind of like Santa. We're talking about Von Who's Rose. Santa? Um, like a like a jolly old man that brings you presents in December. Oh, is this the the coffin maker. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, so he had like white hair and a white beard, and um, he supposedly brought it here because this was like one of the last like good places in the land. Um, and he wanted to like keep him safe. I believe that I saw someone matching that description, <gasps> shifting around near the where the barn used to be. That's great. Oh, I can okay. take you there. Yes, oh. please. I'd love yeah. to go. That helps. Sure. Wow, lead us right to it, man. Let's just go. I start walking with him. I'm a halfling, I, by I the way, so I probably... start walking in the wrong direction. He's like, no, 
That is here. probably what happens. <laughs> right. It's probably what happens. Keep in mind, dragonborn are even taller than humans. Wow. He's standing at about six and a half feet tall. So I he's am massive like compared to I you. think I'm three foot You're seven. You're exactly oh three feet. God. Oh, I'm three feet tall. So I'm just <gasps> while that whole time I was talking, I was just like looking up. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> God. What color dragonborn are you? Uh, dark scaled. Uh, kind of like oh. either. Uh, it's probably like a mix of black and brown scales. Cool. Go off. Yeah. Go off. I, mean, I follow. I follow the dragonborn. Me too. Sure. I'm gonna keep lookout at the back of the pack. Mm. Mm. Uh, he leads you around down to the south of the. <laughs> of the mansion, where you can see that it is very visibly damaged over here. Uh, although the spires on the northern side are still standing, over here they are completely in ruin. Uh, he leads you over to the tattered remains of uh, what he claimed to be a barn. Mm -hmm. uh, there are blackened beams of what used to be a wooden building, burned down to the very foundation. Right. What you can see is made of stone, uh, mm. loosely cobbled together stone. It's not like a slab of concrete. Uh, looming above the wreckage, uh, you can actually see into the wrecked wall of the mansion. Mm. Uh, and with all three of its main floors being exposed to the elements. Okay, I would like to make a perception check to see if there's any, like, dirt that looks like it was freshly, like... Scoop. Uh, yeah, scoop. As you look around, there isn't really any dirt. Uh, all of you have a passive perception high enough to see that. Uh, mm. There isn't really any dirt. It's mostly loosely cobbled together stone. Um... And then in the center of where the building used to be, there is a large pile of rubble. Can I start slowly picking at the pile of rubble? Uh, go ahead. I, I'd say roll for investigation. And all the chunks are as big as you. Wait, <laughs> yeah, maybe, like, the idea is there, which is what is so impressive. But um, a four means maybe she was not able to move the rubble because as she is... As soon as you walk over to this pile of rubble that's taller than you are, you think, oh yeah, I'm strong. And so you like hug yourself around this giant rock and struggle to lift it up. After I struggle, I'd like to look towards... Actually, did you tell us your name? Or did I just say, Robot. hi friend, come with us? <laughs> Rogar. I guess I didn't really tell you my name. Uh, it's it's Rogar. Cool. Hi. Um. Hey, Rogar. You look pretty strong. Could you help me? Yeah, of course. I think there's something in this pile of rubble. Okay. Uh, I'll try and move him away real quick. Okay. Right. Uh, I would say if you're going to try and lift the rock that's Jessamine sized, I would say make a strength check. Okay. Can I assist him? Uh. Sure, but watch him. Orson's not. No, no, he probably the can do it. He can probably do it. He can probably do it. Do we finally have a strong boy? Oh my god! Do, yeah. Yay! He has a great sword. Of course, no he's a strong boy. Cool, but we have Desmond, strong. Uh, me and Desmond whisper this entire conversation, but We're like loud like, enough so wow. everyone knows. He's so strong. He's a strong boy. Okay. Um. Uh. So is is Orson helping me? So I have advantage. Is he? Or or did he decide oh. to step back? He does oh, have not sure. I will. I will. I will. All right. Will uh, Orson's going to help. So roll with okay. advantage. Um, that's an 18. Ooh, All right. Strong. I thought it would have been really hilarious if you like picked it up and then dropped it on your toe. <laughs> but uh, you are able to pick up the rock. It's still really heavy for you, but you're able to get it up and you kind of move around and set it off to the side. Wow. Uh, and once you set it down, you notice that Jessamine is still clinging to it. <laughs> <laughs> She's so fun. Thank you. You could put me down now. You're welcome. I'm gonna catch her. <laughs> She's gonna drop it. I'm gonna catch her. See, I helped, Cloud. You did. You did. I'm just gonna carry her <laughs> off a few feet, like really awkwardly, and put her down. 
what is underneath this rock? What's underneath rock number two? Uh, hidden under here are a few bones, <gasps> though they uh, are obviously not the ones we need. They, they are obviously not human bones. Oh, oh are they like um, bird? <gasps> what kind of bones are they? Uh, they are the bones of none of you have animal handling that's very high. Well, I uh, uh, no. have. I have plus I have two. Orchard. Yeah, I know. Cloud has. Uh, it's not a bird. They're huge. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. These bones are very obviously much larger than a human's or a bird's. I think the logical next step is dinosaur. <laughs> I would have to agree. Um, or maybe. Hey, hey, Talia. Um, you know when sometimes you can make those like those like checks where you see if the things are magical. Could you do that? Sure. Okay. Do you think? I'll make an arcana. Check. I have a negative one arcana. Okay. That's why I'm like Jessamine would try, but like. That's a nat twenty, so a twenty-eight. Yeet! Wow. Whoa. Talia, right in front of you, is a pile of horse bones. <gasps> hey! Horse horse bones. They're not magical. It's just a pile of bones. Why? Why did you the horse? Twenty. Yeah, uh, Talia, you're able to piece together because of your intelligence. This used to be a stable. Oh, oh. Are, that was a barn. Magical. This was a stable. Wait. So, so what kind Rogar, of you bones said this are they? Barn. They're, They're horse bones. bones. <gasps> That's really sad. But why? <laughs> um, you know, they probably just got too old, Jessamine. So they lived a long time. They lived yeah. a long time, and then the Raven Queen decided it was time for them to come home. Yeah, they probably lived like 300 years. Okay, okay, that's nice. Yeah. That's nice. Okay, I well, think the logical next step is to probably check within the um, the bastion or the castle. Hmm, is there, can I look at the corners of the barn to see if there's anything else? Uh, yeah. Uh, With my really high arcana check, did I perhaps like Oh! An arcana check. Uh, since it was a nat 20, I will say that you did get a little twinkle of magic. Um, Do I know what direction it came from? <laughs> yes, uh, it came from the south. The Ooh. Is we should go south. Okay. Are we over here, uh, Spencer? Yes, you are in here. You were looking at this pile of rocks in the center. Uh, rocks. Jessamine, yeah. as you turn and look uh, towards the corners of the buildings, uh, you are able to see there are more loose piles of rubble in mm. the southern corners. But no bones. No more bones. Or maybe the bones are still the horse. With your passive time. perception, you can't see any bones. That's fine. <laughs> okay. Oh, rip. Someone's vacuuming in the hallway. I'm sorry. It's okay, it's not... Oh. No, I don't hear it. Don't hear it either. I guess Twitch hears it. How dare Twitch? Uh, I know. Kidding. How um, dare they? Okay. okay, I would like... When she says we should go south, I would like to walk north thinking that's south. <laughs> Alright. It doesn't mean your other self. Oh, Okay. Just so you know, John Michael, I have an eight intelligence. Awesome. So, so that's she what's can happening. Barely read. I can read. Is is very concerned about this tiny little creature. <laughs> so he's going to uh, follow closely behind it. Um, oh my god! <laughs> hey, I'm gonna have a new friend. Oh my god! He's a bodyguard. Yay! Yay. Oh, now I don't need to do shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just gonna, gonna, everyone. Yeah, I'm gonna start walking. All right. So you walk down to the <laughs> southern corners, and uh, Talia, you are able to see in the southeast corner over here, uh, there is what appears to be like, like a not a thread, not a rope, something in between. I'm losing the word for it. Ribbon? No, it, it's like a 
string. Twine? Twine? Sure, it, it's like twine. It's mm. like twine, where it's woven like a rope, but a lot smaller. Uh, you can see that kind of hanging out of the rubble. Mm. Um, should I go, should I make an investigation check on the area? Yank! Go ahead. I'm just yanking it. Oh. Uh, Cloud, you yank it, and there's rocks on top of it. There's not really much you can do. I struggle with it, like, almost cartoon. <laughs> uh, Talia, you, like, kind of nudge Cloud away and start digging through the smaller bits of rubble, and you're able to see that there is a deep red velvet <gasps> bag Whoa. that the twine is attached to. Santa it's sack. like a drawstring bag. <laughs> <laughs> um... <coughs> <laughs> want to check the bag? Sorry. Um, sure. <laughs> or, I don't know. Can I open the bag? Not uh, as- Jessamine, you're, you do sneak by and open up the bag, and oh, inside no. there are bones. <gasps> we found them! Are nice. they, are they, are they magical? I got an 11... They might be magical. Here, let me try. I'm clearly skilled. He's clearly intelligent. You struggle with arcana checks because they're not, like, they're, the spell detect magic exists for a reason. That was a natural but 20, what, though. Yeah, they're magical. Hey. I, I, like, but do like, some, like... what else like, is arcana used mm. for? They're, like, they're, like, kind of shiny, so you're like, oh, magic! It's pretty so magic. Oh my god, yes, you guys! Uh, that was... Can I identify as a ritual just to try to figure out... That's smart. If sure, if you guys want to spend ten minutes to sit yeah. down and look at the bones, then... Yeah. Let's do I that. I feel like there should be people guarding them, or someone looking no after them. But, like, nobody knows they were here. He can't, he brought them here secretly. Oh, so he didn't even tell the people who wrote the note? No. They just said to get it out of town, which is why I was like, someone's yeah. going through a lot of trouble to make sure that Valaki isn't protected magically by bones. Are the walls here, like, are they? Are there any walls? Or is it just, like, kind of piles of rubble? Uh, there's kind of walls along the edges kind of the of foundation, wall. but Wait, they're... Wait, ten minutes, I'll just cast it. They're very much I don't mind like waiting worn down minutes. to the foundation. Okay, like how tall would they be? Um, in a couple spots, they reach up to about three feet, but in others, okay. there isn't any wall. I would like to climb Rogar. Oh. And stand on his shoulders. Are you gonna okay. ask first? No, I'm not gonna ask. I'm gonna say make an acrobatics, no, athletics check to climb up. How dare you? It's fine. I'm going to like apologize. Uh, unnatural 20. I'm going to say, right. I'm um, so sorry for If Rogar friend. allows, you can climb up him. Um, Rogar is, is slightly uh, caught off guard, but allows it. Okay. Wow. <laughs> so you, you end up standing on his shoulders. Uh, you are more than strong enough to support a 45-pound gnome. Um... <laughs> We are uh, almost ten feet tall. What if together. Rogar counted as a mount? <laughs> uh, what? Uh, why are you on his shoulders? Okay, so I want to look and as much as I can see over the the walls of rubble. I'm one's watching us. Mm. Or if there's any anything I can see oh, that's yeah. a note on the horizon. And how's the storm looking? Oh, go ahead. Go ahead and roll for perception. Cool. Oh. Okay, pretty good, pretty good. Plus six. Um, plus six? 17. I have a plus six modifier, so 17. Crazy. Uh, as you look around, it doesn't look like anyone's Lux, watching no, you. Baby, no, baby, no, baby, no, uh, you can... <laughs> <laughs> that was really strange. Yeah. Uh, you can see into the mansion from here. Uh, the dilapidated southern wall gives you a pretty clear view of all three floors. Uh, Jet is frozen, so I don't know if he even hears this. I can't hear you. Okay. okay. Um, in the second floor of the mansion, you're able to see nine giant spiders. Uh, <laughs> but uh, from here, doesn't really look like anything is watching you in particular. Oh, okay. I'm glad we didn't walk into the building. I totally would have just. And I'm gonna done. do a backflip off of him. 
Oh. Uh, make an acrobatics check. What if he failed, player? just Might falls on his boom, back? Boom. He's gonna take damage. Boom, bam, bam, bada bop okay, bop, it's not boom. Bad. I do have a plus eight, so it's 12. Wow, you need to roll more. <clears throat> You are able to land on your feet, but kind of in the way that makes you like drop down to your knees and you stand up and just kind of like. <laughs> that was really smooth, Cloud. Thank you. That was I really tried. cool. Yeah, I could tell that what you really you tried see? there. <laughs> okay, so I saw there's like um, nine giant spiders in the second floor of the mansion. So if we're what gonna were venture they in there, up at this place. Were they what? like, did they see you? Were they just chilling? I don't know. They, they didn't seem to be looking at me, but other than that, yeah, they of... they looked like they were just kind of hanging out. There yeah. were a bunch of okay. webs. There I was mean, an that's... egg sack in there. Oh. It's mostly just like, that's where they nest. That's yeah. good for them. But other than that, I didn't see anyone watching us. <laughs> okay. Well, um, do we want to look inside the mansion, avoiding the second floor with the giant Have spiders? Have I finished identifying yet? Oh, yeah. Uh, sure. Uh, you guys sit down and wait for a few minutes. Uh, these are very clearly to you the bones of, um, St. Andrew. Yay! We Yay. found them! I'm gonna say, as much as I want to adventure and kill some spiders, I want to kill spiders. We should take these bones back as quickly as possible. And yeah. that storm did not make me feel good. So... You're right. I, but what is the, how far is the storm? Did I see? The storm is getting closer. Uh, it's making its way north. Uh, sorry, northeast. It's coming from uh, the general area of where the winery and the um, Yester Hill are. Does the mansion yeah. still have a roof, or is it kind of? Uh, it does in parts. Most of it is still generally standing it's just the southern end is okay. in disrepair i'm gonna turn to rogar and i'm going to kind of say um it doesn't really look like you have good shelter from a storm here do you want to come back with us we have a room um and i totally don't mind sleeping on the floor like i do that all the time so if you like need a place to stay and plus like you're really strong and that was really cool and i think that we work well together and i like new friends if you want to come with us to be safe from the storm Maybe uh, indefinitely. I would greatly appreciate that. I, I also think that we work well together. Thank you. Yay, you're welcome. <gasps> Guys! And I'm going to start walking, and I don't know what direction I'm walking in. Maybe it's the right one. Maybe it's not. I kind, of, I kind of put my hand out, and I like say, welcome to the team. Uh, we've been introduced you, ourselves. Orson. Oh my god, oh, yeah. No, you have not. Hi. So I, I'm, I'm Orson. <laughs> yeah. I'm Orson. Stop everything. I'm Orson. I'm Jessamine, yeah. um, and I worship the Raven Queen. Ah, uh, uh, I see. Do you like her? Of course. Yes, I do. Cool. Okay. I climbed you. I'm Cloud. <laughs> that I'm sounds Cloud. sexual. They're very nice to make That's, your acquaintance. That... That you sounds have like very TOS. broad shoulders that it was good to stand on. Thank you. That sounds course, like TOS. Yeah. This is Terms of Service. Is it, we're breaking <laughs> ah! Ooh. <laughs> what? I stood on his shoulders. Anyway. That's me. Anyway. Oof. So. Talia, did you say who you were? Yeah. I oh, I didn't hear it. Over well, me. then say it again. I want to hear it again. <laughs> Say it louder for the people in the back. Yeah. Said hello, I'm Talia. It's nice to meet you. She's like Hi. really smart and she builds things. Mm -hmm. Oh. And that's like her MO. Okay, okay, I just have to put this out there. Every time I meet new people, they get really confused. But oh, um, yeah. I promise you, I'm not crazy. I just have a hag who lives in my mind who speaks to me. Her name is Jessica. Like, um I I was kidnapped as a child. Um I killed her, and so she was mad at me, so she possessed me, and so that's what that is. And not we to get confused with Jessamine. Jessamine, Jessica. And Jessica knows a lot of things, actually. Like, sometimes she helps us. She also has this weird obsession with fire, so, um, with um, an F word that is very hot. So we just be careful speaking about that unless we want... Um... Yeah, she really likes fire, and so do I. <laughs> yeah. 
arson. Oh, I Yay. mean, like, we, she might be crazy, but we love her anyway. Question yeah, mark? yeah. And, like, she helps. Wait, is it orson or arson? Or, or, or. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the team. <laughs> it could be very just, easy to get confused. Just, okay. just uh, switch to the switch to the O and the A in Arson, and you got Orson. Okay, okay. So yeah. we have Jessamine and uh -huh. Jessica, and then Orson and Arson. Holly. Yes. Jessica and then it's Holly. In my mind. Yeah. yeah. They're kind of like a package and deal. And the Arson is also in your mind, right? Yes. <laughs> they live rent-free. Okay, okay. I see. Good to know. There you go. I, uh, so I think chaotic. I have a straight. Oh, All right. This is so chaotic, I love it. <laughs> so... I'd like to uh, skip again. You start skipping in the wrong direction, <laughs> but Rogar is able to, like, pick you up and turn you around Amazing. before you start... Before you skip off the face of the mountain. Oh, we have oh, lost. Oh, bye, Jet. Bye -bye. Wait, he's bye -bye, coming Jet. back. Oh, no. There he is. <laughs> change your name, change your name, change your name. Okay. I'm Wakes going to... up late, has shitty internet. Sorry, baby. At least the internet's not his fault. <laughs> All right, I'm so good. you make your way back onto the road, and Rogar, although the road is familiar to you, you kind of don't know where you're going. Okay. So oh, you're very much you're very much depending on these guys to, to lead know. you back to oh. where they're intending to go. I start telling him the story about my dress. All right. And I'm just like, and I used to wear a white dress underneath my raven feather cloak, but then it, it got dirty all the time because it's hard to wear white when you're an adventurer, you know? And then we yes. found this like, huh? Shouldn't we ask him about himself? Nope. Oh, yeah. Um. Anyway, to, to like finish my story, it's a new dress. It's blue. It's like much easier to keep clean. Oh, yeah? Yeah. That's awesome. So, what about you? Oh, I saw that you were, like, etching something into your sword. What was that about? Is that, are you comfortable oh. sharing? Is that, too, is that a personal question? Yeah, yeah, no, no issues on that one. I, um, well, I was actually taught by, um, giants, uh, oh. runes. And Whoa. so, I was just etching a, um, a fire rune Ooh. in my sword so that I can- Augers! Um, yeah. <laughs> That's so, so cool. How long have you been here in Barovia? Uh, not not too long. Um, yeah. Was it the creepy tribe of people that brought you in two through the mist? What's that? Was A it the creepy, creepy tribe, tribe of people, the Vistani, who brought you in because they brought us in? No, actually, I was I was going to see the paladins. Oh, oh did you find you them? You came in by yourself. I'm sorry. You came in by yourself. Well, actually, I was uh, going to see a uh, 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 friend of mine um, who's part of the oh. Okay. oh, Did you find them? Yes. Where are they? Did they need help, too? Maybe he's You could say so. Over. Just saying. We just meet him. Hey, we just meet hey, just I mean, let's. You not very quickly that. come upon the line of trees, and <laughs> uh, you have to drop your conversation for a little bit so that cloud can guide you through them without getting too terribly lost. Mm -hmm. Cool. Uh, after about ten to fifteen minutes, you find yourselves back along the road. Um, maybe we should play I Spy. Um, I like that idea. Okay, I spy something green. It's been like leap? ten sessions. I yes. thought we escaped it. <laughs> no. Nope. It's never. Grass? It's a leaf. Rogar yeah, got, got it. it. Right. Yeah, um, but Rogar is on it. Yeah. I spy <laughs> something brown. Is it Trunk. tree bark? Yeah. Okay. I already said trunk, man. Keep up. Okay, maybe. Hey, no, that that's the trunk, not the bark. Come okay, on. Maybe you should do one. Me? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, I spy something um, blue. The sky isn't blue here. <laughs> <laughs> I've made that mistake. I've made that mistake like eight times. It's a dress. It's my dress. Yeah, it was. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Yes. That was it. You got it, Cloud. Good work. I think 
Bye. You quickly find yourselves approaching the crossroads, and with that, the bridge that leads in towards the town of Valaki. And with that, you hear a thundering boom. Maybe we should hurry. Leaves. Oh, by the a way, Cloud. Boom? Cloud, maybe you should go in the middle of the group. Um, Why? Sure. You know. Yeah, don't oh, watch yeah, maybe. They think I'm a werewolf. I'm so, not like, hot, but I might Here's that be. story. So, like, we met three guys, and, like, one of them was pretty cute. And and then we saw three werewolves that had, like, similar features, and then they ended up being, like, this, like the same. And so we were worried because this town like hunts wolves that they were gonna hunt them and so we were like asking questions to the hunters and we were like do you have like like special weapons that are coded in things that kill like, as specific you continue animals? walking along talia you are able to see a column of smoke <laughs> rising from the east uh, i'm in the middle of the party now um, i i i uh see the column of smoke uh, does talia relate that to the party do i see the column of smoke does any of this I, uh no. orson you don't your passive perception is 10. Um, but Talia sees it. Talia sees it, Norris, and says, I see the <laughs> 16, does that see it? Not to yes. Everyone. Okay, uh, you I also see, see it. I point oh, out. column of yes. smoke. Oh, uh, I see the column of smoke, and I kind of realize... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, when Talia tells me, I'm like, isn't that in the direction of Valaki? Oh, is it? Oh gosh, we yes, have the bones. We, okay. Wait, wait, I have a question. I, 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 did we I, see I, lightning? You did not see any lightning. I pull, so out, I pull out my sword, I pull out my uh, falchion, and I start sprinting. I try really hard to sprint, but my legs aren't moving very fast. I see, I see just, I see... We never I, specified who had the bones. You were, because you found you them. I do, I have them? Yeah. Yeah. You okay, so in the bag of holding then. But okay. I'm okay. gonna take I see Jessamine struggling, I run back, I grab her and I throw her over like I throw her <laughs> over my shoulder and kinda of, like piggyback her and I start running. Oh, like, Hold on. I grab what? Jessamine and run with Orson. Yay! <laughs> I'm just like grab chilling. Jessamine <laughs> off of Orson's back and keep running. <laughs> I'm just like wow. Yeah, yeah. Like, I better. <laughs> I kind of look, look well, towards. Well, to be fair, like, Orson, you. Orson, your strength score is lower. Yeah. Uh, your strength score is low enough yeah. that it would have been considered difficult to rain. He saw. You. He saw. He saw me struggling, and he's like, "Okay, I'll yeah." Help you out. Yeah. Like, <laughs> the moment I feel I'm like slowing down behind the group because I have little legs, I'm gonna like jump onto. Uh, Cloud, you have squat nimbleness. You're just as fast as everyone else. Uh, I do I not. Bogar and I like mouth. I mouth uh, intraconic. Thank you. <laughs> you mouth it in another language. Yeah. I'm still trying to tell the werewolf story while we're running, <laughs> and I'm just like, and then they like thought that Cloud was the werewolf because he was asking questions. <laughs> Yeah. As you approach, okay. you very quickly come upon uh, where you would turn off to the Vistani camp, and you can hear uh, there's chattering coming from that direction, and a small crowd of Dusk Elves and Vistani are staring off towards the town of Valaki. There's more columns of smoke now. There are very obviously buildings ablaze. Oh no! Do we even try this? In, in Valaki, yes. It seems like Do I have to make some sort of check because of the fire? Uh, oh, you're just like, you? maybe we should leave it. <laughs> Go ahead, uh, make, a, make a wisdom save. Oh, gosh. Like, she has advantage because we would help her out? No. Like, maybe her, I... Like... Jessamine... Uh -oh. oh. You can't give assistance on a saving throw. Yeah, no. Oh, God. Throw. Oh, wait, wait. I can give myself assistance though, because I have the luck. You have the flash of genius. Hey! That's good. Jessamine's like brainstorming. Oh. 13. What was that? 13. 13. All right. Uh, for now, you're able to stave it off, but Jessica is in your ear screaming at you to join in on Fire! the Fire! Fire! <laughs> Uh, uh, I pull out my other sword and I get. Jessamine is like walking in, trying to brainstorm and is trying to see if her water skin could help put out the fire. 
I'm like, uh, maybe if we all got our water skins out. <laughs> do we see you any? Made... Oh, sorry, we're not there yet. Never mind. As you as you approach the walls, the guards who were at the gate are no longer there. <gasps> uh, yeah, they are in. in. They are inside the walls. Do they are the gates open? Yes. Okay. We're yeah. running through. We're running through. To where the Burgomaster's palace and try to find Isaac. Yeah. Talk. You run into the street and you find Isaac pretty quickly. It is oh. chaos. <gasps> there oh are people dead. <gasps> Buildings are burning. Holy crap. Isaac is in the street fighting off what appears to be lesser vampires. Jumping at him. I think that we. You can see he has a sword in one hand and his spiky arm is ablaze as he's swatting at them. I'm going. I'm going to. I'm going to cast Eldritch Blast to uh, at at the lesser vampire. That's. I'm tugging my oaken skin potion. All right. At the sight of vampires, I immediately run towards them with my great sword. Yeah. With me on his shoulders. (laughs) Uh, in that case, I would like all of you to roll initiative. Yeah. Uh, yes, you can drink your potion. Oh my god, it lasts for six hours. You and guys. I'm just going to cut them up my um, You guys, lock. my right. initiative score today? Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, just one second. My dice really like saving throws, but they Oh my god, we're back here where we almost died! <laughs> where you almost died, you mean. Well, me and Orzin. This is the only street map that I have on hand. Okay, that's pretty good for initiative. All right. All right. <laughs> Uh, 25 to 20. Me! I got 20. I got 21. Right. Ooh. Nice. All right, uh, 15 to 20. 17. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh. 10 to, 10 to 15. Right here. All right. 10. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> ah. Uh, and her. then Talia bringing up the rear. Eight. Yeah. It's nice. Quinn. Not terrible. Right. Not terrible. Uh, Jessamine, okay. it's your turn. I present my holy symbol, and I do channel divinity turn undead. Each undead that can see or hear me within 30 feet must make a wisdom saving throw or be turned for one minute and have to get as far away from me as possible. All right. And these are the uh, what's the DC? Um, thirteen. We got you, Talia. You're All good. right. Uh, one of them fails. Okay. And Raya sees you and hisses and runs down the street. Okay. And then, do I have a bonus action? It's not dark, right? Uh, it is not pitch black, but the sun is not present. Like, do you think I could make it easier for Rogar and be able to use my um, step of the brave and fly? Um, Is it dark enough for that? I wouldn't say that it's dark enough for that yet, but as the clouds continue to roll in, it- It might be soon? It it might. Okay, then that's what I do, and then I'm gonna just stay on Rogar's shoulders. (laughs) Unless he wants me to move off, then I'll move off. I would say that as he ran towards the enemies, he kind of shuffled you off of his shoulders. Okay. Cool. That's my turn, because I don't have cool bonus actions. All right. Um, it is Izek's turn. Yeah. Uh, he is one handing a great sword and the other arm is ablaze with fire. Jesus Christ. He kind of brings the great sword down over the vampire and then pushes his claw into the creature's face. 
Nice. Uh, the great sword hits. Uh, uh... <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't ready for combat so quickly. <laughs> Right, and then the claw comes down. That also hits, uh, and he sinks the claws into the creature's face, and it just <laughs> with fire. Wow! And you hear it. Oh. Yeah. Is it dead? Question mark. It is. It is not dead. Uh, it is struggling against the claws that have sunk into its face. Uh, Orson, it is your turn. I'm gonna cast. I'm gonna cast uh, Eldritch Blast. Look at you being a warlock. I love All it. All right. I kind of. I kind of like call upon my God Ball. and uh, Ball, and I. Uh, and it's I'm just like, so it's time. Funny. It's time to roll. And he's just and like, it, ugh. Did you really wake uh, me up for this? Yeah, I have to roll to hit, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. For both blasts. For both, for both blasts. Uh, do, you, do you have two right now because you're only a level one warlock? That's a good question. Uh, I think so. Because it's a cantrip. So yeah. I, yep, I, yep. Yeah. You do. Um, 19 for the first one. All right, that hits. Uh, which one are you attacking? I'm attacking the one that... Um, Isaac is holding. All right. Uh, before we continue, John Michael, are you in the Roll20 game? Can you see? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's important. Um, let, uh, can I just use the same email that you sent me yesterday? Uh, yeah, your, your account should be in the campaign now. Okay, okay, sorry. <laughs> That's no, it's so all right. funny. Uh, your name just wasn't popping up, so I wanted to know if you could see. Uh, uh, yes. Okay. Launching now. Great. Uh, Orson, what did? How much damage did that do? Uh, hold on. Let me roll it. Uh, six. All right. And then second attack. Uh, that does not hit. That's a nine. Yep. Uh, it just goes wide and sinks off into a building nearby. Uh, bonus action. I'm gonna cut myself. And I'm gonna use my crimson right. Hold on. What if you just uh, cut it off at bonus action? I'm gonna cut myself. It's like I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna uh, cut myself. Okay. Bonus action. I lost a hand. <laughs> I take two damage, and now my sword is imbued with lightning. Great. Yeet. And I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use the rest of my movement to. How how long are these squares? Do you know? Uh, they're five feet each. Uh, I'm gonna move over here. All right. And that's the end of my turn. All right, Cloud, it is your turn. Okay, can I run under Rogar, like between his legs? Uh, you're a small oh. creature, so you can just like run by him. Cool. Why? Why? Well, I want to specifically run through him. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna run between <laughs> his legs. Yes. Um. And I'm gonna shout, Isaac! And I'm going to start going ham on the one right in front of him, right where I am. All right. Three tacks. Do I do two with my rapier or one with my say axe? Uh, if your say axe is in your offhand, then yes. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. So my no. Hand. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah, my dominant hand would have my rapier and then my offhand. So. Okay, yes. so, and then I'm also going to do Dreadful Strike at ease with this. Thank you. Yep. Uh, natural 20 on the first one uh, for All a right. 27. Oh my God. That hits. Uh, second one is natural 14 plus 7 is... That 21. hits. And third one is only a 5, but plus 7 is 13. Misses. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So, so that um, is one rapier and one Sayax. Cool. And then, so I'll just roll 2d8 because double on the Sayax. On the rapier. On the rapier, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so two rapier. Okay. Ooh, pretty good. Oh, that's a one on a d8. That's not fun. Okay. Um, eight. 
20, 21 damage. All right. And I'm going to end my turn. Uh, how much of that was your dreadful strikes and how much was from the weapon? Um, it was a, a four on the dreadful strike. And then the All right was regular. All right. Thank you. Yep. Uh, as you swing down and slice into it, it's going <laughs> to in pain and pry itself from the claws of Ezek. Yikes. And it's going to whip around, and it is going to attack you, Cloud. Okay. I still have um, it works from the last time. It is going to make a multi-attack at you. It's going gonna, it's gonna to pounce on top of you and swipe at you with its claws. Cool, cool, cool. I have oaken skin right now, so... Uh, remind me, what does that do so for I your have armor class? I have armor for two D four right. hours, and I rolled uh, a one. I rolled a two and a four. Thank you. See so you. That hits. That's a nat twenty. Oh no! It's fine. I came back to that. <laughs> oh wow! It's okay. Cloud got a nat twenty on it. Yeah. Oh nice. Oh. Um, where's the other dice? My dice are disorganized right now. All right, uh, you got lucky. <laughs> cool. I rolled. It rolled two ones. Damn. So that is. Uh, that is sixteen damage from okay. the claw. Uh, then I need you to roll a strength check. Just straight strength check. Uh, strength saving throw. Okay. Sorry. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, 17. All right. Uh, you are not knocked prone by the pounce. Yeah. Uh, and so it cannot bite you. It has to attack you with its claw again. Okay. Cool, cool. Uh, that is a 21 to hit. 21 does hit. Uh, this one deals 7 damage. Cool. 30 hit points. Let's go. Uh, the other vampire is going to run at Izek and attack him. No! Um. Little help here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Izek is going to get pounced on. Uh, that hits. And he crit failed the saving throw. <gasps> so Izek has been knocked prone. No, Izek! Uh, he is going to take seven damage from the claw. He's fine. He's a strong boy. Uh, it's going to swipe across his throat, and then seeing the blood, it's going <sighs> to and bite down on his neck. <gasps> no! We really should be taking these to the church, the bones. That's what I uh, said. If it, like, that, <clears throat> that missed. Um, I said we should head for the abbey right away. Well, he is able to move out of the way as it chomps down into the stone beside him. Ooh. Yes! yes Rogar, it is your turn. All right. Uh, I am going to run to the vampire that is pounced on Isaac. All right. Um, uh, you can control your token, by the way. Okay, okay. Uh, do I just click on him and move him? Yep, you, I... can, you can just click and drag it. I am not able to. Uh, you have to be on the move select tool. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Oh, wait. Okay, I am. Uh, for now, I'll just move him. Uh, it'll, okay, sounds fine. good. Um, so you're going to so, attack the one there. Yes, correct. Um, with my... Uh, I'm going to use a bonus action before my action. I can do that, right? Yes, you can. It's been a while. Um... So I'm gonna use um, my giant's might. Um, All right. Thank so God. I wow. become I become large. Um, yes, the size do. large. Um, I have advantage on strength checks and strength saving throws, and I deal one um, d six extra damage on every attack. As, He's already freaking huge! Oh my God! Robert. Uh, as Rogar begins to run, he tilts back his head and just, 
and he slams his fists together, and he grows to be about 12 feet tall. I love my new friends. To, you hear boom, boom, as he runs over towards the, Hulk. the vampire. Literally the Hulk. I love my new friend. <laughs> okay, um, I am going to use my greatsword. Uh, All right. And attack with that. Imagine uh, if I was still on his shoulders. <laughs> True. <laughs> I would be like, what the fuck? Fall, you would take fall damage. <laughs> so that's a 23 to hit. That hits. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> no, that misses. <laughs> um, and with my um, great sword thingy thing from my fighting style, uh, I can reroll yep. any ones or twos. Yes, uh, you can. So I got I got one two so I'm gonna re-roll that real quick. Okay, uh, and then add four. Okay, so that hit does eighteen damage. All right. Ow. So you <laughs> wow. You pull your great sword off your back and just cleave right across the side of the creature, and it goes sprawling across the the road, moves probably five feet. Uh, it is no longer on top of Izek. Perfect. And um, you've left a massive gash in its side. Yay! Yes. Okay, it's not dead yet? No, it is not dead. Okay, then I will use my second attack to attack the same one. All right. Uh, he really wants it dead. <laughs> go ahead and roll. All right. Uh, that's a huh, uh, 26. Yep, that hits. <laughs> Okay, and ah, oh, so close to life stealing. Anyways, um, that's gonna be nineteen damage. All right, you, after sending the creature sprawling, you bring your great sword down over top of it, and it just <laughs> right into the chest of the creature. Yeah. It is like pinned down by your sword. Yeah. It is. It's still kicking though. Oh, oh my gosh, okay. Wow. Miss Bam. All right, uh, Talia, it is your okay. turn. Question, so would handing something to someone, would that be considered an action or? Uh, depends on the context. So <laughs> uh, if, if, it's that... something that, if it's something that you had ready, like a weapon, then no, but since you're going to have to go digging through the bag of holding to get it, I would say yes. Because the round is only six seconds long. So, okay, so if I were to grab a stake and hand it to Rogar? Uh, Rogar is like 40 feet from you right now. Okay. He's stronger than I am, so I don't know if I could... I guess I could try to just run at one of the vampires with the stake and see what happens. Yeah. But it's not a weapon, so I'm like, I don't know how it works. Because would it be an we... improvised weapon? It would yeah. count as an improvised weapon. Okay. Um, yeah. But I have to use strength for it? Yeah. Yes, you do. Mm. You see, that's a bad idea, so I'm not going to do that. Um... <laughs> None of us are strong boys. No, okay, so I'm just going to... Um, I guess I'll just cast... I'll use Catapult at... The second level. All right. Can you use it with the stake. I don't think it works that way. Does I don't think. Um, I think technically catapult can be used on any object as long as it's within a certain weight. Uh, I mean. Yep. Uh, not you not you, Jasmine. Uh, it has to <laughs> weigh. Not Jasmine. <laughs> Uh, it has to weigh one to five pounds, but it Rip. can be any object, and it will fly in a straight line. I think that qualifies as a... I'm going to try it. We're going to see. I'm going to try... All right. You're going to launch the stake at the vampire. That's awesome. <laughs> um. So he has to make a deck save of 16. All right. Uh, the one that's by Cloud? Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right, uh, it fails with a 13. <gasps> yes! Okay, so that's 4d8 of damage. That first roll is an 8, so that's exciting. Burp. 
Uh huh. <laughs> okay, so that's twenty four damage. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Damn. Let's go. So you launch it. Uh, just roll a d twenty for me. Mmm. Nat twenty. Yes. Great. Uh, the stake flies out. The creature looks up from cloud, and it just <laughs> right in its heart. Yes. It goes straight through the creature and impales itself in the road behind it. And the creature just <laughs> and begins to disintegrate in front of cloud. Grab that again. Grab it back. We need that. The shit. stake is too strong. <laughs> hey, thanks, Talia. Jessamine, it's your turn. Okay. As a bonus action, I need oh. to create um, Cammy the cat, and I'll make a force ballista. Let's go. All right. Uh, allowing me to use all of my new tokens. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Here's Cammy. I love Yay. her. Okay. <laughs> um, so this one that I'm about to ping, is that one correct? Oh, that, one, that one is That's the dead, the dead one. one. Okay. And then... This is the one that, um... That is Ezek. That is Ezek, right. Who's that? <laughs> That's Cloud. That Oh my god, I didn't see his token. Okay, get it. Okay, I got it. And then this is the other one that is alive, but kind yes. of alive. Okay. Uh, it is It is alive. It's just pinned down currently. Oh. I don't want to hurt anybody else. Okay. Um, can I move here? Yes, you can. Okay. So, bloop. And would it hurt anybody if I use Guiding Bolt on this one? Uh, there's no one in your way. Okay, then I'm gonna try to do that. I'm gonna right. do it at second level. All right. Okay. Um, that is 17. Yep, that hits. Yay! Okay. So that's, um... Oh, uh, it is a ranged attack, and he is currently pinned to the ground, so with advantage. Oh, cool. So let's see if that's Just in case you get a crit. Um, it's just a non-natural 20, so it doesn't affect... All right. Okay. It still hits, but... Yay! Okay, so it increases... So I get to do 5d6 instead of just 4. All right. Uh, 22 damage. Great. Uh, you run over in front of Orson, kind of smile back at him as a javelin of light forms in your hand, and you just whip it down, and it goes straight into the creature's shoulder, leaving a giant gaping wound. Yay. It's still is alive, that... though, huh? It is still alive. Was that 22? Right. It's 22, yeah. All right. Um, Isaac kind of grumbles and pushes himself up from the ground using his claw and he walks over towards the creature and goes, die you foul beast, and slams it pulls a stake from his bag and yeah. slams it down into the creature yeet is the creature so and he misses no, that would have been so dramatic it slams into the road and just kind of like <laughs> and, fuck <laughs> Same That's bro, his same. turn. <laughs> same. Bro, same. <laughs> so Orson, uh, it is your turn. Uh. Question with, with the fighting style with with the extra attack, is it with the same weapon? Yes. Okay. You make two attacks with the weapon in your main hand, and two weapon fighting allows you to use the weapon in your off hand with so your attacks. proficiency bonus. That's yes. Okay, that's what I'll do then. <laughs> um, I'm gonna use my falchion to do the extra attack, and I'm gonna use two weapon fighting and use my short sword in my other hand. All right, so, so give me the two falchion attacks first. 21. All right, that hits. Uh, 10, that probably doesn't hit. It does not. Uh, I will roll the extra attack, and uh, we'll roll two weapon fighting. That's a nat one. <laughs> All right, so uh, not only do you miss, you also do like a shoulder roll over the creature. <laughs> okay, but I still have one. Um, 
Hold on. Yep, so roll for damage and then your additional, I think it's a d6. Yes, you're right. Uh, d8 plus 5, 7, 11 damage. All right. It is really not looking good. And now Orson has ended up on the other side of the vampire. Uh, Cloud, it is your turn. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Cool. Um, I guess I'll just, like, go attack the vampire. <laughs> or, right. actually, you know what? I think they've got it covered. What I do want to do... Um, I want to climb Rogar again, because... Great uh, he's, a, he's a lot taller now. Can I try, though? Uh, that'll be your action. Yeah, okay, sounds good. Uh, so roll for athletics to climb him. Natural 20. <laughs> All right. Natural 20. Um, okay, I want to look in the direction of the church. Is it very clearly on fire and destroyed? The church... The church is not on fire, but you can see that there are several vampire spawn-ish creatures uh, throwing themselves at boarded up doors and windows. Okay, I'm gonna relay that information. And on top of that, there is a very familiar figure floating above the roof. And guys, uh, Strahd at church. We um, gotta go. Yeah. We gotta kill this thing. And um, have an extra attack. Or like, can you attack? Um, I'm attack? I'm trying to think what kind of I could use a spell as a bonus action. Um, we want to end this fight as fast as possible, but that's up to you. Whatever yeah, you no, do. I can't do anything now because I use my action. But um, I'll just stay on Rogar's massive shoulder. All right. Yeah. Uh, the vampire underneath your sword, Rogar, is going to stand up. No, don't let him. Oh no, he uh, stood up! <laughs> as, as, as it pulls itself to its feet, the sword is going to cut straight through its body, and as it stands, you're going- you watch as the wound immediately begins to heal. <gasps> no. no! He drank blood, that's why. That's just uh, rude. It looks around to find the most vulnerable target, and Orson, it oh. jumps at you. God, I thought uh, it was gonna, gonna. I thought it was gonna I'm go gonna, for me. I was like, <laughs> I'm gonna use um, hellish rebuke as a reaction. All right, yeah, hellish rebuke. Um, cut myself again. Huh. Well, that's a lot of blood. I don't know if you uh, want to be doing that around the vampires. Um, it has to make a dexterity saving throw. All right. A fourteen. That's a nat 19. It passes. Rip, no. Christ. Um, but it still takes half the damage on um, on a save, uh, if it successfully saves. Hold on. Uh, 11. So what is All that? Right. Is that 5 or 6? Uh, sure. That's 5. 5. Cool. Um, it's still pouncing on you. It just kind of like... <laughs> Uh, it hits. Uh, that's a nat 15. Dang. Um, Wait, a nat 15? I have an armor class yes. of 16. Plus 8. Plus 8? Oh, great. <laughs> oh, great! Um, you take, ooh, uh, 11 damage. Jesus. And you are going to have to make a strength saving throw. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> that's not what you want to hear. It is if you're Rogar. Uh, That's 15? true. Uh, 15 passes, so you are not knocked prone, and it's just going to claw at you again. Uh, and it will miss. Uh, it's kind of thrown off by the fact that you're not on the ground, and it like... <laughs> that still <laughs> hurt, though. <laughs> that kind of hurted me, though. <laughs> uh, Rogar, <laughs> it's your turn. Okay. I'm um, still on your shoulders. Gotcha. Um... Just to make sure, uh, we we saw what we think to be Strahd, correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. A familiar so floating figure. I immediately grab my greatsword from the ground and run in that direction. <gasps> oh, shit. All right. Um, yes. 
does... Leave them to die! All right, uh, I will say you move faster because you're huge. Uh, you are able to move 40 feet, Whoa. and that okay. puts you off of the map. <gasps> okay. I'm gonna be like, Rogar, wait, <laughs> take me with you. <laughs> uh, is that your whole turn? Sorry, guys, um, see you later. Let me- Because you, you, you can't get close enough to be able to do anything. I no, figured. you can dash. Uh, ooh. I shall. I shall All dash. Right. No. So you move a You're full. Feet. You move a full eighty feet. That is away insane. From your team. Uh, and oh, Cloud, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need you to make a, oh, no. a saving throw. Oh, I'm not God, sure what him. kind, because you're would on be, his shoulders. Uh, I'm gonna say. Um. Probably Dex. Right? Probably Dex. I'm that going sounds... to say just make a a Dex check for me. Cool. Sorry, saving throw. Um. Uh, da, 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 16. Uh, you fall off. <laughs> what? How far? It, it, like, uh, this how... is an incredibly fast moving creature that just ran 80 feet in six seconds. That <laughs> is so insane. So how far? Am I, like, still there? <laughs> seen this uh, you, you are still close to the vampire. You fell off and you took three damage. Okay. <laughs> All right, could be worse. Our... Look, he, he had to do what he had to do, and you wanted Talia, to Talia, it it's your turn. Okay, um, I'm gonna see if I'm lucky again, because I have like 10 stakes, so. All right. And I'll just pick I up. I will add, the creature is very worse for wear right now. Okay. And I'm just gonna cast it at second level. All right. So I'll cast, yeah, catapult at second level with the. All right, uh, that is a dex save. It fails. Great. That. Oh no, she fell. That's 19 damage. All right, and then go ahead and roll a d20 for me. Uh, that's not great. That's a three. Yeah, it does not hit the creature's heart, but it impales its shoulder just kind of right above. And it, again, just goes straight through, and in the hole you can see, like, the aorta of the heart pumping. Ugh. And uh, then as a bonus action... See, am I close enough to to it to use my force ballista? Uh, not currently. You're very far away. Okay, then I'm gonna use my movement. Move thirty feet closer, with and take her with me. All right. Where is thirty feet? I have to do the little measuring thing. Oh, I'm just gonna move right by Jessamine. Oh, that's exactly All right. The Yay. There you go. Right. Whoa. My thing just glitched. Technical difficulty. There she goes. And then and, uh Cammy is on your shoulder. Yeah. So she's just with me. And then yeah. um I'm gonna use the force ballista cannon to just try to shoot it back. Alright. Um the what force ballista can only attack something within five feet of the cannon. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So never mind. I guess I'll just... She has her own movement, so I'll move her 15 feet and then just... All right, go. yeah, she's right up next to the vampire then. So go ahead and roll for your attack. Okay, so... Right, what is it? Is it a... Okay. 18. All right, yeah, that hits. Five. And that's 16 damage. All right. Uh, this projectile of force just poof, straight through the um, straight through the creature's chest, and its heart 
like gets launched out of its body. And Izek kind of like catches it and stomps on it to crush it. Damn. And that the creature disintegrates into dust in front of you. So are we out of initiative in the technical sense? Yes, you are. Right, so All right. Immediately, I'm going to take full action movement and bonus action to move 90 feet and try to cling back onto Rogar. I would like oh, to... Right? Um, you... I don't think that you can use dash as a bonus action, so yours would be 60 feet. I'm using my movement, my dash as my action, and then I'm going to misty step onto his shoulder oh, and okay. on for dear life. All right. Uh, I'll just say make an athletics check to see if you can just grab on. <laughs> okay. okay, it's pretty good for me. Um, uh, 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 18. All right, so you just grab onto his shoulder. Uh, he is still just sprinting towards the church right now. I tell I Talia... Rogar, Rogar, you need to calm down. We need everyone there. I know you want to kill Strahd, I'm assuming, but you, we have to yeah. wait for everyone. I tell Talia that we need to get the bones to the church. Should, Je should we, do we split up and Jessamine and I could run towards the church? Well, they're running towards Strahd, towards Strahd which is yeah. towards the church, but maybe we could go a different way so that we might not be as easily detected by Strahd. Let's try that. Okay. Um, can you, I mean, well, I, I kind of see what they're doing. I'm like, I mean, if you need me to get in there stealthily and just, like, somehow get... I can do that. I and think... if we have, like, additional... If we have invisibility and all that additional we stuff... Have we have that. that. All right. Also, does anyone have a health potion? Like, with between the three of us? I'm also going to send Orchard back to Jessamine. Okay. So you all right. have Orchard, Jessamine. Because I'm awesome. willing to just use Cure Wounds here. Um, I do not have a health potion. Can we, uh, Dinkle Minkle? Yes. Is there a way for us at an angle to go to be behind the church? You froze. Sorry. So I don't know if you can. All right. Um, okay. If we could go at an angle so we end up behind the church. Uh, you could theoretically try to make it behind the church instead. I asked Tolly if that sounds like a good idea. Great. Let's do that. And hey, I'd Mr. Like... Dinkle Minkle. Yeah? Um, just so you know, my giant's might only lasts for one minute. All I'm right. not sure that's, if that's a minute has passed or not. That's but... ten rounds. Uh, I would say that a minute has not passed. Okay. Uh, however... Uh, you're probably going to lose it soon. And right. uh, you have just run right up to the church. Okay. And I'm still um, on you. There are sure. several vampire-like creatures throwing themselves at various points on the church. And Strahd himself kind of floats above. He looks down and sees you. And he goes, ah, well, Rogar. Oh, God. Quite an unexpected face. Was the first time I killed you not enough? Um, I'm gonna uh, pull out my short boo and take a your shot. Your boo? <laughs> All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, roll to attack. Um, eighteen plus seven, so twenty-five. Uh, your arrow flies towards him and comes to a halt right in front of his face. As expected. And he just kind back of to brushes Strahd. it to the side. I yell back to Strahd and I say, you know that I will do anything I can to destroy you. Glad we're on the same page. I'm going to hold on to one of his oh, horns yes. just in case he starts to go ballistic. Um, <laughs> Tell me, does it, does it hurt terribly <laughs> knowing that you can do nothing to save Balasar? We're getting all the tea right speak now. His name, Strahd. You don't deserve it. Oh. Oh yes. Well, I see the little one on your shoulder too. Uh, come crawling back to your haven. Hmm? <gasps> Listen. Oh. Can you hear the children of the night? What music they make. You're so. He takes a moment. Go away. He takes a moment to kind of 
just enjoy himself in the revelry of screaming and burning buildings. He looks back down at you and puts on a sly smile as you begin to shrink back down to your normal size. Crap. Mm. Uh, okay, um, leaving Cloud, you're kind of, he just kind of like pops down to his normal size and you're left floating in the air for a second before you <laughs> fall down. I'm not going to penalize you for that. Okay, cool. um, I catch Cloud. Uh, as you shrink down, he, oh, he kind catches- of smiles. And- I catch Cloud and put him back on my shoulders. A new member into my jolly little crew of playthings. Ew! Ew! <laughs> Balasar did serve me well, you know, until he broke. And I must admit, Strahd disappears. Uh, There is a cloud of fog that envelops you, Cloud and Rogar, and you hear whispers saying, I thought you had more fight in you. Um. The fog disappears, and... Strahd reappears a short distance away, uh, Mom. back Mom. above the church. But Mom, Mom can you pick me up? Uh, I'm scared. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and keep the same initiative rolls. Okay. Oh yay! Uh, question. Uh, actually, I'm like... actually, um, before before we do that, can, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use my only first level spell to cast cure wounds on myself, and I rolled a seven. Um, right. And it says it says I have to roll two d eight, but it's a first level spell, so I'm. I'm yeah, a, the character sheet is just yeah. weird. So uh, it's showing you the second level. So first level is just one d eight. One d eight plus three is ten. So I'm gonna heal ten HP here. All um, right. So every time you say Balthazar, all I can think about is Sydney Way during story theater, just like rolling one. Balthazar. <laughs> uh, it's not Balthazar. It's, it's Balazar. Yeah. Well. Well, me and me and Chloe were not in that section, so that's all I heard. <laughs> um, but I, I don't. We don't know any of this is happening, and I say, um, we know Strahd is there, and there seems to be like there seems to be a lot of vampires there. I think our best plan of action is if we want him to go away, is if we're gonna have to try to somehow just put the bones in the right place and hopefully and pray. I that... know that's what I was thinking. So we need to hurry up. Um, I can, I can cast Expeditious Retreat and start sprinting. I'm gonna hand them. To, I'm gonna hand the bones to Orson. Um, All right, uh, Orson, that is your last spell. Yep. Uh, what was I gonna say? I think I might need a little bit more help if I want to be stealth, more stealthy. Um, I do have a higher stealth modifier, but I don't know if um, I don't know if casting invisibility would. Uh, I mean, don't have any time. Just go. Okay. I'm gonna run. Uh, you start I can running. Really pull over my head and go with uh, it'll take it'll take a round or two for you to make it around the back of the church. It's fine by me. Um, Rogar, you are <clears throat> surrounded by vampire spawn, and okay. they begin to creep in towards you. Oh god! They start to ignore the window, uh, the windows and the door. Hmm. Okay. Rogar, you have a plan, right? Uh, a um, abbreviated one. Um, <laughs> okay. I, it's, I don't have. I, I, I'm, I'm getting down there, and I don't know how much I can help. Okay. Uh, what I am going to do is. Um, I am going to use my last giant's might um, All right. to grow yet again. Get big again. That's yes. smart. Get thicky boy. All uh, right. And I, I secure Cloud while I am growing uh, All just right. to make sure that he stays on. Um, then I'm going to go to the far vampire on the um, road there. Down over here? Yes, that's correct. All right. Um, and I'm going to uh, attack with my greatsword. All right. Uh, I'm going to roll real quick. 
That's going to be 18. That hits. All right, perfect. Uh, I got two twos, so I'm going to re-roll those. Another two re-roll. Rip. I'm pretty okay. sure that with Great Weapon Master, if you re-roll a one or a two, and that gives you a one or a two, you have to keep it. Oh, shoot. Okay, my bad, uh, my bad. It, it's fine for now, but for future. I will keep that in mind. Thank you. Uh, so that is 16 damage. All right. Uh, you bring the sword down, cleave straight through the creature's chest. It is still alive, and it <laughs> up at you. Yikes. Okay. Uh, then I will use my second attack to uh, bring up my great sword and drop it on it again. All right. Uh, and that's going to be twenty-three. Yeah. That that hits. Okay. <laughs> uh, all right. That's going to be eighteen damage. All right. Uh, you bring the sword straight across again, and it cleaves straight through the creature's arm. It falls, but it begins to twitch and make its way back up to rejoin itself with the creature's body. Ew. That's disgusting. Gross. So gross. All right. Uh, and I believe that's all I will do. All right. Uh, it is Jessamine's turn. I assume you just get closer. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'd like to dash. All right. Um... Izek is going to follow after you. Cool. Orson, uh, it is your turn. Uh, with your expeditious retreat and your dash, you are going to be here to make a move on your next turn. Uh, Cloud. Um, I'm going to turn to Strahd. I'm going to say, well, how far is he? Uh, he's a distance. Okay, I think this will still work. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm going to turn to him and I'm going to point my finger and say, now I've got you. And I'm going to cast oh. Hunter's Mark on him as a bonus action. All right. <sighs> oh, nope. That was the wrong level spell slot. <laughs> um, then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just keep using my short bow and I'm going to shoot this guy. Nope, that's the wrong tool sorry i'm gonna shoot this guy and all right this one all right so the first one that's a natural one so it doesn't hit <laughs> yeah uh, that's that's a miss yeah the second one is um uh 15 all right um that does hit cool so that is a d6 plus four that's a six, so that's ten damage on that. I think it was this vampire, vampire who's the second attack. Yep, the one in front of the door. Mm -hmm. It takes ten. Da -da. All right, the arrow sinks into its shoulder, and it just kind of tum, and looks back up at you. Huh? <laughs> Hold on to horn. I'm good. That's all right. Turn. Strahd is going to shoot you a smile in retaliation. Uh, in retaliation to your to your claim. He just <laughs> Oh, I see. Great. He points at you. Oh no. And This ain't some finger of death shit, is it? Uh, it is not finger of death. Okay. No. That's crazy. Cuz no. I am I am scarred. Yeah, yeah. me too. Emotionally, physically, sexually. All of it. <laughs> sexually. <laughs> I am. Right. That's a lot of damage. How about a little more? Drama. <laughs> With flex seal. I can fix do? anything. <laughs> uh he points at you and I die. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> uh, you don't die. You fall asleep. Uh, <laughs> hey, he's taking a page out of my book. Uh, hey! hey. Bro, bro. Bro, what's up, bro? So, uh, for the 
means of combat, you will get to make a check at the beginning of your turn. Okay. But for now, you are unconscious. I would can like to I... try and, that... and use a reaction if I can to that attack. Okay, what's your reaction? Um, so one of my runes, uh, the one that I have inscribed on my cloak, is the sky rune. And as a reaction, uh, when a creature you see within... Oh, wait, is Strahd within 30 feet? It is feet not here? an attack roll, and he is oh. not within 30 feet. Well, no. good. Well, both of those things really nullify what I was going to do, so <laughs> go ahead. Yep. Uh, <laughs> so we just unconscious uh, hanging on his shoulder? Uh, you are unconscious, kind of, like, draped over his shoulder. I'm like a shawl. Uh, Rogar will make sure that you don't fall. Cool. I will. And thank you. Your concentration on Hunter's Mark has been lost. Oh. Oh. Uh, the vampire that's in front of you, Rogar, is going to take two swipes at your leg. It okay. knows that it's not going to be able to grapple you. Cool. Uh, first one hits. Second one really misses. Nice. Uh, it claws at you, and you take eight damage to your shin. It just kind of okay. scrapes across, and um, blood begins to ooze from your leg. Mm, okay. Uh, the other vampires use their turn to begin moving towards you. Great. I love that for us. I'm in. I'm asleep. This, this isn't looking. This is not. This. Is I not. am so glad that I'm not on the ground right now. Oh, uh, wow. Talia, that's, that's, it is your turn. I assume you'd like to move. Yeah, I would. All right, <laughs> Jessamine, it's your turn again. Uh, this is your last turn of movement. You'll be there next turn. Okay, I'd like to. Yeah, no, I just want to. I just want to dash again. I just want to dash. Again. All right, Izek is going to do the same. Orson, oh, I you, uh, I counted a dash in your movement. Okay, cool. um, so not your next turn, but the one after will uh, have you able to attack. And I assume that you're bringing Cami with you. Yeah. Uh, Orson, Up. you have reached the back wall of the church. <gasps> oh, okay. That's good. I'm gonna need you to make a stealth check. Oh god. A stealth check, right? Who is that? Yes. Who is that? We don't um, know he's there, bitch. We don't know. 21? 21? That is pretty All right. good. So you are hidden for now, uh, behind the wall. What would you like to do? Uh do I know where do I know where the um bones were buried from where I am? Uh, they were buried in the graveyard, which is towards the front. Towards the front. This is the graveyard up here. Um, uh, can, you, can you mark that again? Okay. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna hug I'm gonna hug this wall, like the outside wall. Um, All right. Just so that I'm not seen by anyone before I make it to the graveyard. All right. As you start to move, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay. <laughs> yes, a wisdom <laughs> save. I'm in danger. 14? I have so many. I have so many fucking books open. You don't even know. I love that. <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, you fail. Uh, as you begin to walk, you hear the screams of people that you used to know crying out around you. Your mother and father screaming out in pain and begging you for help. And you got lucky with that roll. You take nine psychic damage. Okay. But other than that, you are able to continue to move. I just like, I just like hear the voices, I wince in pain, and I kind of shake it off, and I keep moving forward. All right. You're able to make it pretty far. You're, like, at the... You're able to hide down beneath the wall next to the tree. Cloud, 
uh, I need you to make a check. I'm unsure of exactly what it is. Um, should I? Is th this isn't something I should have made last turn too against the spell, right? No. No, oh, it just. Uh, you. There actually isn't a check. You have to be woken up. Cool. I'm still asleep. So you are still asleep. Uh, Strahd kind of chuckles. Got me now. Uh, I told him he's creepy. He should have gone away. I know. We <laughs> thought that worked. That was like our thing. Um, he just continues to float. He kind of moves over so that he's directly above the door. And then he reconsiders and hovers down towards the ground. He will end his turn. Uh, the vampires that are surrounding you now, Rogar. I'll be right back. No. No. No, they're all gonna I feel like, no, they already took their turn. Yeah. Yeah, Rogar, it is your turn. Okay. Um, this is so bad. So, definitely waking up Cloud would take an action, right? Yes. And, okay. um... Mm. The official description is that Cloud has to take damage or be slapped awake, and you are massive. So oh, yeah, so I would take so, so if, much if, damage. Basically, if I tried to slap him, it would also do damage. So yeah, yeah. Uh, you could you could like drop him. That's <laughs> you know. That's one I mean, yeah. d10 of damage, but oh. he'd be awake. Throw me at Strahd. I'll take damage and I'll be on Strahd. No, don't do that. Do you remember what happened last time you did something like that? You got the just scars, bro. All right. I can just step away. Uh, it is your choice, Rogar. <laughs> my, my, Cloud's my fate is. My intelligence is too high, I think, uh, to throw Cloud at Strahd. <laughs> uh, so, okay. Are, is each square five feet? Yes. Uh, though cloud being on your shoulders is 12 feet in the air. Right, So yes. he would take a d10 of damage if he fell. Um, for my, um, uh, Mr. Dinkle Minkle, um, <laughs> for my breath weapon, um, uh, yeah, it doesn't show up properly on the character sheet, but yeah. it is a 15-foot cone, and okay, they need the to one. make a constitution saving throw. Um, yes, if you click on it, I think it gives you the description of yes, what the Yes, I'm saving seeing throw it is. now. I'm seeing it now. Awesome. Yeah, uh, uh, okay. save of 13. Yes, okay. Uh, so that would hit... How many of them? Two? Uh... Are you doing it towards the crowd? Yes, if if I were to do so. It would go 15 feet out. It would hit these two and this guy. Okay, then I am going to use my breath weapon. That's so cool. All right. Um, Dragon. Yes, Dragon. okay. Dragon. Uh, two of them fail and one of them passes. Woo! Uh, okay. The one who passes, does he take half damage, or does he just resist it? Uh, let me check. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. It's half as much, so whatever, right. what, whatever so, yeah. I roll, it'll be half. Uh, one sec. So that's 3d6 plus 2. 3d6 plus 2, okay. Um, 3d6. Okay, that's going to be 11 damage to the ones that um, failed. All right. And then half that. Um, and then for my second attack, um, I will use my greatsword on the one that I was attacking with my greatsword previously. Great. Okay, let me roll. Oh god, guys. So Rogar uh, whips around, drops his head back, and just pours out. You can see what looks like... Uh, none of you can see it, actually. Uh, but uh, what... <laughs> Wait, can Orzen see it? Then I'm gonna keep the mystique. 
Orzin, Orzin <laughs> can't far, see I'm it. I'm too far. I'm too far. Yeah, he's on the yeah, other he's, side of the church. He's too. behind mm. the church right now. I'm so. also behind a wall. Yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm yeah. trying to look over. So gotcha. none of you can see it, but he does a really cool attack. <laughs> 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 then okay. uh, what was the great sword? Uh, the great sword uh, was 21. All right. Uh, that hits. All right. Uh, and that's gonna do twenty damage. Great. Uh, Shoot. So the creature hisses up in pain at you uh, as there is a gash that is separating, like down its chest. It's kind of like dangling. Its heart is exposed, and its shoulder is like completely separated from the rest of its body now. <laughs> Mister Dinkle Minkle, I have a question. Yes. Um, yes. For the giant's might, I don't know if I should add the d6 to the breath weapon. You should not. I should not. Uh, okay, good. It, it just makes your range a little bit bigger. Like, the cone gets wider. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Because cool, you're a cool, larger cool. size. Awesome. Good to know. Because uh, the I giant's might that. is directly related to strength. Okay, awesome. Thank you. Uh, yep. Then I uh, believe... Uh, this diaphragm gets stronger. No, that kidding. will be that will be my turn <laughs> then. All right, uh, Talia, this is your last turn of inaction. Jessamine, top of the order. Okay. What would you like to do? You have just arrived at the back wall where Orson was last turn. Do I see Orson? Uh, you can probably see him from the tree. Yes. Okay. I'll go ahead and add you guys over here. Um. I almost I added to... another Orson. Shoot, I have to touch him. Could I... Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, he has Expeditious Retreat right now, so he's fast. Who's the dude you... Oh, is that that's... Cammy? No, that's Isaac. Um, oh, Isaac. Nice. If I got to him, I could touch him and make him invisible, but... Can't happen. Use message. I okay. I can um. I can use sending is the one that I have. Yes, I am going to do that. Um, I'm going to say, hey Orzen, it's me, Jessamine. Um, don't move yet. I can turn you invisible if I touch you. Ha ha. Um. Be um, there. Is your last word. <laughs> Wait, I thought it was twenty. No, uh, you've got more. Okay, be there soon. Smiley face. Bye. <laughs> okay. Great. He does Great. Are you gonna move or anything? Yes, I'm going to move. So he's thirty feet away from me, and I can move twenty-five. So I'm gonna right. be like in the tree. Uh, I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay, I'm good at those. Yeah. Um, 19. That's pretty yep. good. Uh, you hear these screams of... of people that you once knew, your father figure in the priest, crying out for help, but you're able to shake it off, for the most part. I know that it's a mind trick, so I'm like... Yes. Uh, you take six psychic damage. Okay. Wow, I was really lucky, huh? Yeah, you got really lucky on rolls. Because yeah. Jessamine's was uh, half damage on a success. Wow. Uh, Orson, your turn. Are you just going to wait for Jessamine? Uh, actually... I'm gonna run back to her. Mm. All right. Five feet. Um, she can't do anything, right? No. No. Because it's not uh, her turn. But I could yeah. do it on my next turn. What can I do? What can I do? What can I do? I can't do anything. Uh. So I'm not gonna do anything. All right, uh, Rogar, you can see Strahd lands on the ground 
and he just kind of very gently knocks on the door in front of him, and they <laughs> open. He's knock. He walks right into the church, and you lose sight on him. Okay. Oh, guys, we're so fucked. Why do we always do this? <laughs> Uh, the vampires are going to make their attacks now. I was gonna say, we okay. didn't do anything. We've been trying. That's uh, the one that you've been attacking very weakly claws out at you. Uh, yes, I know, Chloe. You can leave whenever you need to. I can take over. Uh, the one that's left in front of you is going to very weakly claw out at you and miss. Uh, it just kind of falls down on its face. Um... <laughs> One of the ones that's been running at you is going to pounce at you. Okay. Um, uh, it is going to try and grapple your leg. <laughs> uh, okay. Like, try to grab onto your leg. Okay, uh, sounds, sounds good. It, it pounces, and it does manage to grab onto you. It's, okay. going, to bite, it's going to bite your leg. <laughs> All right. Uh... It succeeds. It manages to find a chink in your armor and sinks its teeth into you. No. Uh, you take 13 piercing damage. Whew. And uh, that's that. <laughs> okay. okay. Um, this vampire is going to try and claw your legs. Okay. Uh, one hits, one does not. Uh, you take eight slashing damage to your leg. And this one is also going to try and claw you. Okay. It misses both. Yay. All right. And this one can't figure out how to attack you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there, there are too many people around you, so it can't like quite get like, to you to, I see, yes, yes. to do it to do the attack that it wanted to do. I see. Okay. Uh, and the other one continues to make its way towards you. On your next okay. turn, it is likely going to attack. Good to know. Good to know. Uh, speaking of your turn, Rogar. Yes. All right. And this is your last turn with Giant's Might. Oh, Oof. God. Okay. Good to know. Um, oh, never mind. I'm not there. Mm. When you come back down, Cloud will fall anyway. So. I. Hmm. Okay. Um, as my bonus action, um, before I do anything, I'm going to invoke the frost rune uh, that's on my armor. And All right. increase my strength score to 20. All right. Uh, and that's for 10 minutes. Great. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to put my, that in my override score so that all of my stuff changes. Yep. Um, and then... <laughs> question. Yes. Um, <laughs> because they're all surrounding me, could I use both of my weapon attacks to kind of do a circle with the my greatsword? You know what? I'll allow it. Okay. Um, I'll say that it's a reckless attack. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you get advantage on the attack, but on your next turn, uh, they will have advantage attacking you because you left yourself open if you are still within their attack range. What? What a what a great idea. That's a barbarian feature. <laughs> Are you a barbarian? Okay. No, he's not. He's a, he's yeah, he's a fighter, right? We don't I'm know. I'm just saying, like, I will allow this fun move <laughs> with like, the caveat. He's been, he's been like he's been like top here. Uh, you have and to I would do say I would say you roll once and uh, you roll with advantage and that <laughs> attack will go up against all of their armor classes. Oh god. I don't know I don't even know if you have enough health though to take all the damage. I know. You would still have your movement after your attack. Ooh, but then mm. there's opportunity attack. Maybe they're gonna attack him anyway though. Not it's all true. creatures have opportunity attack. That is true. true. And okay. since he's a giant, he can move farther than that. Okay, I think 
uh, I will take that deal then. All right. Oh. Go ahead. A gambling man. Mingle gonna... Mingle is my uh, godly patron. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Um, okay. All right. Uh, so I'm rolling with advantage, correct? Yes, you are. Okay. Ah, awesome. Uh, that's a 26. Ooh. Fucking congrats. You hit <laughs> all of them. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks, baby. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, okay, and I'm going to roll for damage. So damage, I assume, would be the same for all of them? Yes. As well? okay. I will apply the same damage roll to all of them. Okay, uh, I got one, two, so I'm going to re-roll it. And you are correct. My Great. apologies. Uh, that you are just fine. I, it's all right. <laughs> it was a one. Okay. Oh! Um, <laughs> that's fine. Uh, I do 15 damage to all of them. Great. The one that has been attacking you the longest dies. Yay. Uh, as you chop <laughs> through it, uh, you pierce its heart, and it just kind of... <laughs> and it yes. crumbles down into dust. Okay, the rest perfect. of them are doing all right. Okay. Um, and so I now need to move, but I don't want to lead them to Orson and Jessamy. You, also don't... you don't know where they are. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So I probably would go in that direction. Um, okay, so I'm going to go up the path that's going towards the church, but around... Uh, by the graveyard. How, how, I can't see the... I can't. How do you do the little arrow thing? <laughs> you can make it to here. Uh, okay. it, it's the tool that looks like a circle with a line coming out of it. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, and uh, then that allows you to make it I see. Perfect. Okay, thank you. With him, um, I fall off. Uh, he's not small yet, so you're still with him. Yeah, you're good. Um, and that will be my turn. All right. Uh, to end your turn, you turn back small, and Cloud falls 10 feet. Okay. And he takes 9 damage, but he wakes up. Yay, <laughs> for waking up. <laughs> I have 18 you land flat on your back on the ground, and it just kind of like... <laughs> <laughs> You're going to need to go to the chiropractor. <laughs> Who's Woo, fantasy chiropractor, happened? anybody? Mending on his back. <laughs> <laughs> My Talia, God. it is your turn. Okay. Oh, I have really bad wisdom, so I don't want to go over there. But Talia wouldn't know that I'm gonna have to make a wisdom. Th it's thing, true. So I'm gonna. Move. I'm gonna let you in on a secret. You're gonna have to make the throw anyway. So. Oh, I figured. But I'm Even gonna. Even if you didn't move. Jasmine and All right. More. Bitches. No. Bitches oh, love the green. Oh, uh, no. So yeah, make a wisdom saving throw for me. Oh, no. 13. You hear cries that are both familiar and unfamiliar to you. Uh, you hear the sound of parents that you hardly remember. You hear the sound of Jessica herself burning in her hut. Sorry, Olga. <laughs> and you take... 17 psychic damage. Why? Why? Ow. <laughs> Damn, those memories hurt, don't they? <laughs> Damn. I mean, yours I... would have hurt. Yours would have hurt too if I didn't roll two ones. <laughs> See, I'm just that good at this game. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh shoot, I should have flashed a genius myself. It's fine. It's okay. Too late. Oh well. I forget that I have that feature. It's a pretty cool feature. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to do? Is there anything I can do? I don't think so. You can move. Uh, you can dash and keep moving. That's true. Yeah, I'll do that. All right. So you can move uh, just along the wall? Yeah. All right, you kind of like pat Jessamine on the shoulder and keep going. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Speaking of, Jessamine, it's your turn. Okay, I'm going to cast Invisibility, but at... Uh, 
I'm only gonna turn Orzin invisible. Um, cause All I, right. Because I want him to be able to focus on the bones. So I'm just gonna do it at um, second level, and then I am going to start moving with Talia. Because we have no idea Strahd went inside the church, right? We didn't see that. No, you don't. Yeah. So I'm going to... Is that 25? Yeah. I'm going to move right up to where Talia was after I turn Orzin invisible. All right. It is Izek's turn. Uh, He fails the saving throw. Uh, Izek is very confused as to what's going on, and he kind of like, what? Uh, as you all run away, and he goes, shit. And he starts to follow after you. Oh, that is not good. Um, Izek takes 24 psychic damage. Ah! Uh, he kind of he has to stop moving for a second so he can wince in pain and clutch at his head before shaking it off and continuing to stumble over towards the tree where you are, Orson. Uh, it's your turn, uh, and he can't see you anymore because you're invisible. Mm-hmm. Um, you can now oh. see us, by the way. We need to get this man some healing. I'm gonna keep. Uh, I'm gonna keep going here. I'm gonna keep dashing. I'm gonna keep running. All right. Uh, Talia, if you have to go, just leave whenever. Cool. I have, I have three minutes. All right. <laughs> I just wanted to say, I put into the chat, it's like when Jessica is chuckling and Talia's mine, but there's also the painful memories. Parkour! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna keep dashing here. I don't That's know how fine. far that is. Uh... You can make it very far. Ooh, awesome. <laughs> you're, you're very close to the graveyard now, and since you are within sight range of these creatures, I need you to make a stealth roll with advantage because you're invisible. Cool. Yo! Advantage. Uh... Oh, no. 17. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, you're able to duck down behind the wall, and you don't think anything has seen you. I'm glad that I rolled twice. I rolled, <laughs> nat, I rolled a nat one on one of them. <gasps> <Oof>. <laughs> that is a big oof. A huge yeah, imagine oof. falling through the wall. Cloud, <laughs> it is your turn. Okay. Um, I didn't see him walk into the church, so I have no idea where Strahd is. No, you didn't. Okay. I'm gonna... I don't... I don't. I'm gonna like step over adjacent to Rogar. All right. I'm gonna turn towards the incoming vampires, and I'm gonna take the. Oh no! I saw my bow out. I'm gonna take the dodge action. And All right. As a bonus action. I'm gonna cast Zephyr Strike on myself. Okay. And that is my turn. Uh, the vampires, noticing that you are gone, are all going to turn and begin to walk towards you. Ma'am! Rogar, how are you doing? Are you dying? Uh, I'm not bad. I'm not terrible. I am at basically half health. I'm at 18 hit points, so if one of them hits hmm. me too hard, I'm dead. Uh, I can help you with that. I, I have runes that can help oh, if cool. that happens. So, uh, the vampire who is closest, him over here, uh, is going to uh, kind of gurgle his head back and... <laughs> and suddenly, Cloud, a dark red, almost black projectile comes flying at you. Um, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Okay, I'm good at those, right? Uh, you also did take the dodge action, so 
I don't think that this will that'll affect a saving throw, but Well, I did pretty good. Um it's a seventeen. Alright, uh so you are not blinded. Uh but this coat of blood just covers your chest. Uh, and it begins to burn into your skin. Ah! Uh, you take, you take eight acid damage. Oh God! Oh, I'm I not tried so hard to this. stop anything from happening. Bye, bye, Talia. Bye. 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 Thank you. Have fun. She's what are you doing? All right. Uh, Rogar, it is your turn. Okay. Um, first off, as a bonus action, I'm going to use my second wind ability um, to regain 1d10 plus 7 hit points. So I'm going to roll. Ooh! All right. Uh, okay, 7 plus 7. I gain 14 hit points. Nice. Cool. Nice. Nice. Um, and then... Um... Could my action be to pick up Cloud? It could be, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, then I will use my action to pick up Cloud... All right, and I'm going to say for the sake of combat, make a strength check. Uh, okay. And then it'll be, uh, everything will count as difficult terrain. Ooh. So do you, I have disadvantage? You don't have disadvantage. You just can't move very far. Ah, I see. Okay, thank you. Uh, you can, uh, you, your movement takes half speed. Uh, so you can move 15 feet. Okay, okay, good to know. Um... Then I will pick up Cloud. Uh, and um, you said strength check, just a regular yep. check, not not a saving throw. Yeah, just a check. Cool. Uh, that's gonna be a twenty-three. Hey. Great. You, you can pick him up, boy. no problem. You've right, got awesome. him like sitting on your shoulder as you begin to drive down the hall or uh, the yeah. path. Where yes. are you? Like here. Uh, or... I want to move as far away from the vampires as possible. So I think this is as far it, as yeah, you can go. That's exactly what I was going to do. So, All right. <laughs> uh, perfect. And I believe that should end my turn. Thank All right. you. I'm dying. Of course. I still have some things in my back pocket. You're you're at 10, right? Okay. Yeah. I will, <laughs> uh, I will definitely use them if they target you. Okay, because uh, really, I took every precaution I could so I wouldn't get hit, and then I got hit. Yeah, no, you did. Uh, Talia is going to run down. Uh, she's going to see Cloud all bloodied and bruised. She's going to go, oh, shit. Again? Again? <laughs> again? Oh. <laughs> And um, she's going to look out past you guys. I, I'm looking at all of her spells, sorry. Uh, She'd probably use Cami. Uh, I could use Cami, yeah. You, that's you know, she, she is going to expend a spell slot to turn Cami into the protector. Uh, as her bonus action, so Cami can't do anything this turn, but on her next turn, she'll be able to use him. Um, and she is going to... Ooh, actually. She is going to say, duck to you, Rogar. And she's going to point over at the vampires. I duck. <laughs> cool. Oh she <laughs> she hits all of them. Oh. Um, what did she cast? Thunderclap. Yes. Please. I love so her. So that is one failure, two failures. That's a nat one and a nat two. Yes. Three failures. Yes. 
four failures. Yes. Holy shit. <laughs> one awesome. success. One success. Uh, two successes. That's so, that's table like. Ooh. No, that's awesome. Gods. Uh, they all take fourteen thunder damage. Ooh. I'd like to petition. Or all the ones that failed, the ones that succeeded, took seven. I'd like to petition that when you get a nat one on a saving throw, you take double damage, just like critical hits deal double <laughs> damage. We could talk about that later, but I would we'll like to. Talk about that later. <laughs> petition signed. Would anyone sign? <laughs> I would already sign. Already signed. Already signed. <laughs> But we're also players. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um, and they get pushed back 15 feet. Uh, yes, they do. They each get launched 15 feet from the point. Launched. And one of them uh, gets launched off the map. Yes. Nice. <laughs> uh, this one flies back. These three all... Oh, this one gets launched towards you. Towards us. Oh, no. Uh, then this one hits the wall of the church, and this one hits the other vampire. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what a so bad These two slammed against is. the wall. One of them is off the map, but will be back on its next turn. Uh, Jessamine, it is your turn. Okay. Um, I assume I... Do I see that Cloud is hurting? Can I tell? Um, from that far away, I'm gonna ask you to make a perception check. Okay. I will say, when Rogar ducked, I fell flat on my face. Um, 18? <laughs> so. Yeah, uh, you can see, he's, like, bleeding. He's okay. not doing great. I am going to... I'm going to just use this, uh, turn to dash so that I can be with them, and then, um... I mean, I can't, like, right. really do anything uh, else, but can I hug Cloud? Sure. Okay. Uh, you have to, like, stand on your tiptoes, and you can, like, just barely reach him. Yeah. Okay. Because <laughs> oh, Rogar picked ground. him back up. Oh, okay. I thought Rogar would have just picked you back up. Oh. Uh, okay. I will That's also good. say that uh, climbing over the wall counted as one square of difficult terrain, so okay. you're, like, there. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Um, it's Izek's turn, and he's just like, what the fuck are they doing? That gonna... vampire disappeared. He's gone. What? The one on top of the roof. I don't think he was on top of the roof. I think he was... Inside the building? Yeah. No, I think he was on top of, um, no, I think he was on top of the roof. Well, we didn't see him anyway. No. So we don't know he's, he's there. He's gone. Um, uh -oh. Orson, it's your turn. Well, I have to get these bones to the grave, so that's my job. Can I climb over this wall right here? Uh, uh you can. Those walls are taller, so I'm going to need you to take your action to climb it. <sighs> okay, but I can still make it to, I can still make it to the grave. Yeah, the mausoleum is <laughs> over here. This map doesn't have a mausoleum on it, but this is the mausoleum. Okay. Well, I'll use my action to climb over the wall. All right. Uh, go ahead. Make. make yeah, make an athletics check for me to climb over. I think I'm profi I think I'm proficient in athletics. Yeah. Are you invisible too? No. no. Just okay. Orson. Uh, sixteen. All right. Uh, you make it over the wall. Uh. You can move. Yep, you can make it right next to the mausoleum. Shit. Okay. Uh. I don't have anything to do, so I guess that's my turn. All right. Um. Before anything can happen. Strahd walks back out of the church. Oh, no. uh, in his hand, holding above the ground by the neck, he holds Father Petrovich. No! The bones! The bones! Uh, he almost immediately sees you over there, Orson. And he says, 
Good luck with those. And he is going to roll to attack. Fuck! He closes his fist. <gasps> and you hear... <laughs> he's crushed uh, the father's windpipe. And he throws him down to the ground. There will be nowhere safe. I invited you here as guests, as entertainment, and you continue to meddle in my affairs, and yet again, you fail. You're creepy. <laughs> so, no. he is creepy. You have something that does not belong to you. I would very much like it back. What is And if it? not, I will see fit that today's violence is something that does not need to be repeated. Oh, so like- uh, the... What are you referring to exactly? Yeah. I'm gonna ask that Talia, question. Talia kind of steps forward. Uh, he's looking for the tome. Oh, oh. that makes sense. Why did you say that? We don't lie? have that. I don't even know what that is. I just blatantly announced the lie. We don't uh, have it. Roll for deception, Cloud. There's, there's, no, way you're gonna, there's no way you're gonna deceive this guy. <laughs> Do you mean a toe? <laughs> like a toe um, of a loved I one? Rolled. Actually, it's not that bad. I rolled an 11. <laughs> There's no way. He just kind of hmm, smiles at you. Don't see. And walks very slowly towards you, Cloud. No! no. Guys, I'm gonna die! I would like to cast Guardian of Faith. <laughs> sure. Uh, you. He kneels down before you so that he's almost at eye level. He's like seven feet tall, so even kneeling, he's looking down at you. If you know what is best for you and your friends, you will willingly give it here. If not, I will hunt you to the ends of this realm. To be fair... I, Strahd von Zorovich, am the Ancient. I am this land! To be fair, you kind of hunt us anyway, so not much would change. <laughs> We're all gonna die. Oh. Uh, you can go ahead and cast Guardian of Faith. Okay, so uh, a large loud. spectral guardian appears and hovers, and so any creature hostile, hostile to me um, has to make a dexterity saving throw within 10 feet of it. Um, and it goes away when it deals 60 radiant damage, and I made it hover right. right by Cloud. Uh, so he failed the throw. Uh, Kay. you can make the attack. Well, he, with the, um, Guardian of Faith, he automatically takes 20 radiant damage on a failed oh, save. it's just 20. I thought yeah. you had Ooh. to roll. Yeah. Ooh. All right. Uh, as the sword slices through his side, he just kind of winces before grabbing Cloud. God damn it. I, can I misty step away? Uh, you can try. I'm going to. <laughs> uh, was that... How many spell slots do you have left? I have two more uh, second All right. So yeah, you can misty step. Cool. I'm going to misty step. Um, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can. I'm going to misty step behind Talia and Isaac. Cool. Cool. Uh, as his reaction, he is going to dissipate into mist and reappear uh, directly in front of you again. Uh, again. guiding bolt. <laughs> um, you can go ahead and roll for that. Cloud, does an 18 hit? I don't know what your armor class is right now. That's my armor class. I also rolled an 18, but to hit Strahd. All right. Um, that... Hits, uh, okay. just barely. Okay. I gotta stop lying to Strahd. Okay, as a reaction, um, it, there was, wait, there was a hit to Cloud, right? Uh, 
Cloud just got hit. Uh, he got grabbed, rather. Oh, grabbed. Okay. Yeah, I can't. I deal 19 um, damage with my... Um... All right. While this uh, is happening, can I put the bones... <laughs> sure, you can try. I'm gonna... Uh, no, he he got them back from... from Talia yeah, Talia already. gave them to him because he started Stab running. him. Stab him with a bone. No, he's gonna put the bones back. Um, I'm gonna keep attacking Strahd if he doesn't leave, so. Strahd grabs you, uh, and his claws pierce into your neck. You take... Wait, Cloud or me? Cloud. Okay. Uh, because I already rolled to hit on yeah, Cloud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's just well, been a lot bad. going on. Right. Uh, you take 13 piercing damage. I'm unconscious. Okay, I... And, uh, it's not done. And you take 16 necrotic damage. So that, oh! that, that's part of the same attack, right? Yes, that is so the I, same attack. So now okay. I'm conscious. As a reaction? Uh, that um, is still points that go against your total. I don't. As a reaction, I'm going to um, invoke my cloud rune mm. and use transfer attack. Um, oh! All right. When you are a creature you can see within 30 feet of you is hit by an attack roll, you can use your reaction to invoke the rune and cause that attack to target a different creature within 30 feet of you other than the attacker it's like using, using the same right. roll. Uh, so that means transfer. that it will, it will deal 13 plus 18. That is 31. enough to knock Izek unconscious. Um, the other vampire is within 20 feet of me. It has to be within, I'm pretty sure it has to be within range of Strahd's attack. Shoot, I think you're right. That is exactly because 30 Because you're high. just, you're just redirecting the target of his yeah. attack. Yeah, uh, yeah, you're right, you're right. You're right. So, it, sa it says, it, it, in the description, it says 30 feet of you, unless you want to make a DM call on that. Um, I will look at it, but for now, I am going to make a DM call on it. Sounds good. Um, no, so Zach. Izek has fallen unconscious. Okay. Rip. Okay. I, I got it, guys. Don't worry. <laughs> he turns to you, Rogar. <laughs> he just kind of chuckles. I see you've learned some new tricks. Ew. I had to be prepared. You're creepy. You hate me, but your abhorrence cannot equal that with which I hold myself. Hmm. One day I will be strong enough <laughs> to destroy you, Strahd. He is going to... Uh, he's still holding Cloud. <laughs> he no. is going to pull you in, Cloud. No, word of radiance again. Guiding Bolt. And he is going to bite your neck. Guiding Bolt again, fuck! Within the same wounds. No! Shit. No! Uh, I just, oh. I just healed! Oh. Natural 20 on uh, Guiding Bolt. Great. <laughs> Go for it. I'm assuming uh, I hear Misty Step before he does that, right? No, the attack, already, the attack was already called. You had to call Misty Step before 16. he died. Well, uh, also 19. not. I just was wondering if, 22, if I would be before him in 25, initiative order. but 31. It's fine. 35 um, radiant damage. Great. Uh, Great. Instead, he's going to throw Cloud to the side and immediately turn around and slash at you with his longsword. And that makes sense. I'm not surprised by that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that uh, He threw that. you against the wall, Cloud. Okay. Uh, so I, I'm, uh, he's I'm, going to slash at you. That definitely hits. That is a 26. That's not a, a, na a natural 20, was it? That wasn't a, a critical of the hits? It's... No, it's not. Okay. <laughs> okay. Everything's uh, fine. You take... Um, let me pick up the dice for it. God. Jasmine. Fuck. All right. Um, That's you should have saved redirect oh, attack for this. Oh, no. Oh, um, no. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? You take... 45 damage. Whoo! 
Yummy. What's it mean? I have one hit point. Hee <laughs> hee. I am tired of your insolence. I'm tired of you. You will give me the tome now. I'll let one of you decide if Talia gives over the tome. Or no. I will finish at least one of you off. By the way, are the bones in the mausoleum at this point? Yes, they are. However, uh, nothing happens. Can I do? Can I do an Arcana check to see what you, happened? Sure. Um, can I? I, like... I am going to, because this has drawn on. We are going to go back into initiative for our actions. Okay. Uh, sixteen. Um. The bones are still magical. However, it appears like something is missing. Fuck. Probably the priest. Uh, your your religion score would yeah. let you know that it needs to be blessed. Um, <laughs> all right, so <clears throat> Strahd is going to, uh, let's, let's roll for it. Let's use new rolls. Okay. God, guys, should we give over the tome? I feel I like it's our only him. way of knowing shit about Strahd, but if he's gonna kill one of us, it's not worth it. But it's the only way to defeat him, remember? <laughs> we found out that the, the tome is how yeah, you really defeat said, Strahd. Jasmine, is it really worth your death? Okay, I'm not afraid I, of death. We'll think. We'll think about this. We'll but think I about am this. afraid of you dying. Twenty-five to twenty. Twenty-two. Oh, I rolled great. natural twenty on my initiative roll. Me too. Twenty-four though. You have a twenty-four. Yeah. All right. Uh, fifteen to twenty. Oh no, twenty-five. Excuse me. I have plus five to initiative. Uh, Orson and Rogar, what were your numbers? Nineteen. Sixteen. All right. If it makes any difference, I did get a 25, not a 24. Oh, I'm sorry. It was 17. I forgot to add my plus one. Yeah, All right, that's fine. Bless them. Um, Strahd is going to turn back towards you, Cloud. This is your final warning before I take measures that I'm afraid are just no fun for anyone here. I don't have it. <laughs> well, that's true. But you know he does. Actually, I don't know if, if I do. Talia has it. Yeah. I know. Which is why it, which is why I said that. Yeah. Oh, you were trying to lie. Well, I mean, like <laughs> oh, you, not, not like specifically, point. but like I mean, how do we know Talia didn't leave it in the room and carries it on her person everywhere? That'd be really cool actually. We I should suppose. just let so um, like, Jasmine's probably thinking like, what if she? Look at her character sheet and see if she has it on her. Well, she probably. Uh, well, she would have it on her character sheet. But like, think about it this way: Would she want to take the Tome of Strahd with her everywhere? Like, I don't know. You'd want to oh, keep that shit safe. She, I think she would. Hmm. But she, would she want to leave it in our hotel room? Our hotel? It's our not our room. <laughs> it's sorry. Cloud. Oh my God. I need you to make a constitution saving throw. Me? Uh -oh. Yes, you. Please, please, please. Hold up. Okay. That's good. What is that? 19. That's good. All right. Ooh, good. Uh-oh. Guys, I can't help. I have 10 hit points and if I go down I can't even heal. What is he rolling? <laughs> Why is it Sorry, I so had long? I had to find the dice. He's okay, hitting okay. me with his long <laughs> which is going to I was like what is he what is it taking so long? How many dice? <laughs> You take 2,000 damage. <laughs> uh, Cloud, you take 21 damage. He yeah, looks at you, his eyes flash bright red, and 
black flames seem to engulf your body for a second. Uh, question, Mr. Dinklemingle. Yes, uh, Rogar? Would this count as an attack roll, or since it was the Constitution, it wouldn't? That would not count as an attack roll. No. Dang it. Okay. Then I can't it was it. a spell. Okay. All right. Dang. I'm dead. I'm unconscious. Well, incidentally, it's your turn. <laughs> Um, Wait, who? Cloud so, or Cloud. Cloud's turn. Oh, okay. So I will roll your throw. All right. Jessamine. Uh, I got a three on the wisdom save there. Nah, I am going to channel divinity one more time. It's the last time before I have to nap. Um, and I'm All going right. to turn undead. Alright. Um, before you do anything, can you cast it two or three times? I can channel cast... Um, I can channel divinity um, twice per short rest. Oh, Eyes of Night is separate. Yeah. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking that Eyes of Night was also... Oh, yeah, yeah. Alright, uh, so go ahead. Uh, okay. What does... Does he, Strahd have to do something for Yeah, he has to make a wisdom save, but I was wondering if I could, for flavor, also, like, pray to the Raven Queen. Go ahead. Okay. Some divine intervention shit here. I mean, I'm, that's not what I'm looking for. I just, like, when I channel divinity, like, I speak a prayer, so, like, I, I want to actually speak the prayer. So, um, I have a 17 religion check. And I'm just basically going to say, Raven Queen, the very existence of Strahd is a blatant disrespect to you, and I am trying my best to vanquish all disrespects or soiling of your name and what you stand for on this mortal plane. I can only do so much in my mortal body, but I do not fear death. I know that if I do die, I will be where you need me to be, and it's just my time. But I feel as though I could do more for you here than I have. I really hate to do this to you, he but passed. he succeeded. Okay. And you do hear a response. Oh no. Child, you know that the gods can have trouble reaching this place. Whose divinity do you think that you're channeling? Ah! <laughs> oh, that makes me so mad. That oh. makes me. I'm very oh, uncomfortable oh. with the energy with that the we've energy created that in, the in the studio today. <laughs> Orson, it is your turn. After realizing what has happened, is he still Hold holding on. me? <laughs> no, I thought he threw you. No, you are like slouched against the the wall, unconscious. Cool. cool. Okay. Orson is still invisible. <laughs> he can... uh, Strahd was Strahd able knows. to detect you when he came out, but I'm you gonna... are still invisible. I'm gonna use my expeditious retreat to get. I see them, right? I see them beyond, like, the gate. Yeah, you can see them through the gate. Okay, I'm gonna walk through the gate. Um, I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna, like, since since, uh, since I have Expeditious Retreat, um, I can move 60 feet as a bonus action. So, um, I, yep. think that's, I think that's what it says. Uh, you can use Dash as a bonus, as a bonus action. action. So you can move so, up to 80 feet if you use 80 that. Feet, yeah. So, I'm gonna, um, while I'm while I'm getting close to while I'm getting close to Shad, I'm like I like swing my sword and like kind of like flip my sword around and I'm like this is what you wanted, Ball, and um, <laughs> I'm gonna use I'm gonna use my gift of the trees feature. All right. Uh, What's that? I'm gonna sacrifice. Uh, it's... Oh God, I'm, I might regret this. Uh, I'm gonna sacrifice 21 hit points. Holy um, shit! Okay. Um, what? gonna be plus seven gonna be add plus seven to my attack and damage modifier great uh i specifically 
I remember when I told you I specifically wrote these subclasses for different characters. Danny is a glass cannon, so I made him more of a glass cannon. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna sacrifice three more hit points, so I'm gonna be at fourteen. All right, so <laughs> so eight. Eight, eight to hit. Eight Stop to hit. sacrificing more hit points. <laughs> We're all gonna die here anyways. I might as well do something about it. I like swing my sword around and I'm like, okay, ball, you <laughs> wanted this. Let's do oh, this. This is good. All right. Um, I'm this gonna. Right here. So yeah, roll to attack. Uh, you get yeah. to add an additional plus eight. Yeah. Uh, I'm also. Can I also use extra attack as well? Um, I would say that for the purpose of this, you get one attack with okay. that with Fine. that ability. Cool. Fine oh. by me. Uh, so plus sixteen to hit. By the way. Yeah. Damn. Uh, uh, that is yeah. unless you rolled a nat one, you hit. No, 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 I hit. <laughs> I, I got, a, I got a thirty. <laughs> what? Yeah, so you hit. Um, <laughs> Strahd raises an arm as if to try and block it, but your sword goes straight through his hand. Oh yes! my god! Take his arm off. Um. Okay, so I'm gonna roll d8, d6, plus thirteen. Okay. <laughs> Else just paste seven plus six is 13 plus 13 is 26 damage <laughs> fucking sweet you cut oh, through awesome, his man. hand and it you can see it just like onto the ground and he looks up at you in disappointment uh you're no longer invisible oh yeah i know <laughs> uh he just kind of like, <laughs> and looks over at you. I will repeat myself. If I do not get the tome, today's violence will not need to be repeated. Um, it is Rogar's turn. Okay. Um. Rogar legitimately might not know what we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> no, he doesn't. No, he I wouldn't. absolutely does uh, not. I, All he knows is that he wants about. to kill Strahd. That's fair. Yeah. Um, okay. What I am going to do, I am going to attack with my greatsword. All right. Um, I'll have you move over here. <laughs> okay, awesome. thank you. Um, and that's going to be a... Hmm, 17. Misses. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use my second attack. Uh, that's going to be a 23. That hits. Yes. Okay. Um, and also, I'm going to invoke my fire rune that I have uh, engraved on my sword. Great. I've been uh, excited for this one. Yes. Oh, God. I hope it works. Um, okay. Strahd has to make a strength saving throw uh, with a DC of 14. All right. He's not admittedly a, not the best skill for that. It's not. It's not. As, but, um, he succeeds. Uh, he succeeds no. with, uh, with a 32. Yeah. <laughs> so. Okay. A plus that's 12 strength modifier at least. Uh, for the saving throw. Oh my gosh, that's insane. Oh. Okay, um, well, I, I will do my uh, hit damage then. Yep. Fuck, I'm leaving. If it were uh, any other creature you fought today, they would have been affected. I know. Uh, okay. Uh, that's going to be 19 damage. That's not All bad. Right. He took so much damage. <laughs> he took so much damage. So uh, Talia is going to bonus action use the protector and it is going to grant full 13 temp hit points to you, Jessamine. Oh, awesome. awesome, yay. Awesome. Great, thanks. But he's your own conscious. You can't even use it. I have one hit point. I could have. I, I have. Would've... Cloud, I have one hit point and who can heal you? Oh, yeah, that's right. Everyone. Me. <laughs> Um, everyone in the space? Oh yes, she can do it to more than one person. Yeah, uh, everyone gets that. that I'm let not... me look. 
let me look at the exact description because her cannons are weird. Um, it's like up to a certain amount of people get it. Yep, within 10 feet. So yeah, all of you get 13 temp hit points. Ooh, yay. 13 temp? Yes. Okay. And then with her action. Oh, God. Um, Chloe said, because um, I texted her, Chloe said Talia would never give him the book. Ah! Yeah, I, I, I figured. Mm. Let's go. We all die together here. <laughs> <laughs> she is going to cast Scorching Ray on, on Strahd. Uh, the first one misses, Oot. and the second one hits. Good. So I'll say Talia, kind of stumbling, manages to, like, and two blasts come out of her wrist. The first one goes wide and slams into the church, and the second one does almost max damage. Uh, it does 11 fire damage to Strahd. He's taking like 70 damage right now. <laughs> he still hasn't He's died. probably still fine, too. Yeah. Oh no, he's totally fine, I would guess. Yeah. Uh, he turns over... There's a reason why you have to collect these things. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Talia, with her free action, is going to pull out the tome. There you go. Yeah. Not, not to give it not to, to him. Not to give it to him, that's what I Read thought. It! <laughs> Read it! I, thought it literally told, it. I literally told her, like... She holds up the book and says, All goodness slipped from my life. I found my youth and strength gone, and all I had felt was death. My army settled in the valley of Barovia and took power over the people in my name, in the name of a just god but with none of a god's grace or justice. <laughs> Drops dead. <laughs> no. Strahd, you see, as he is about to take his long sword to Cloud again, he wavers, looks at Talia, and instead begins to change. Uh, his form shifts into something much more bestial. Uh. Wings sprout from his back, his ears elongate, and his eyes grow bright yellow with single slits down them. His snout elongates as well. The sword is no longer there, and his claws grow to be about eight inches in length. Give me the book. Reach it. Hell no. Oh, hell no. It's going to slam down its claws at her, oh. making two swipes. Oh. First one misses, uh, slams into the wall and gets stuck for a second. And as he's prying the arm out, he brings the other one down. That one hits. It's gonna hurt. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna use the oh. reaction. Uh, yes. My defensive rune reaction. Um, when okay. another creature you can see within sixty feet of you is hit by an attack roll, you can use your reaction to grant a plus four bonus to the creature's AC against that attack. Plus Great. Four. It and still hits. I just want to. a plus five. I wanted to remind you of Chloe's ring that gives her yes. ten more hit points. Uh, it, okay. It will give her, it doesn't give temp HP, it gives normal HP. Yeah, yeah. If it's been 10 minutes, then she gets 10 hit points. Your guardian yep. faith should She has full uh, HP. Oh, right. yeah. Every, so when it um becomes my turn again, he should have to make the same saving throw for the guardian of faith. So Great. He should have to make Because um, it doesn't go away until it's dealt 60 damage. Great. Um... Oh god, I can't do math. Okay. Um, math is hard. Chloe takes 23 damage. Okay. Ow! But she still has temp. Or uh, not, not anymore. <laughs> add temp, so it's 
It's more like uh, 10. ten. Yeah. Um, Cloud, I am going to make a saving throw. All right. I'm dead, guys. Hey, stop it. Um, Jessamine, it is your turn. So he has to make a deck save for the, um... Right. Guardian of Faith. Uh, he fails. Okay, so that's 20 more radiant damage. What a dumb... Right? He kind of howls in pain as it slashes across his back. Eat. Okay. And then, um, for my turn, I would like to... Prayer of Healing at third level. Um six creatures of my choice so i'd like to uh do everybody and all right at third level it is that's uh, 3d8 plus two. Yeah. all right Five, seven is 12 plus another seven is um 19 plus two that is 21 hit points back to everybody I'm all right uh all right. Orson, it is your turn. <sighs> hey, ugh. That'd be weird. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> I know, he looks even creepier now. <laughs> I didn't see him change. What are you going to do, Orson? He's gonna Cloud die. is not breathing. Wait. We did, but didn't I only take two death saving throws? That means Rolled one of them was one. a nat one. No! Do I, no do I notice he's not breathing? Uh, you would notice that Izek has sat up and Cloud hasn't moved. I, got, I rolled a nat 20 for that, by the way. So I definitely know. Okay, yeah. with that information. <clears throat> by the way, do if I sacrifice any more temporary HP, does it add on to what I currently have? Uh, I, you can't sacrifice temp HP. Or not temp HP, but like my regular HP. Does it add on to what I already have? Or uh, it, it, uh, it would sacrifice. If you sacrifice more, it would still add on to your modifiers. Okay. But with that information, um, uh, what was that? Um, I'm gonna sacrifice 33 HP, so it's plus 11, so it's plus 19 to hit. And All right. Plus 19 to hit damage. <sighs> You're insane, um, but I respect that. Before gonna... before you can even do anything, Strahd is going to use legendary actions. He is going to look down at Cloud. And he'll shake his head and mutter, Fools. He transforms back into his more human visage, looks at Talia, and says, your stubbornness has caused this. Before <laughs> dissipating into mist. As you look around, uh, you can see sitting on top of the church is a strange looking creature. Uh, he looks like an elf, but... Uh, his skin is much darker. He doesn't look like a drow, he just a dark-skinned, almost like a wood elf. And he chuckles to himself and goes, Oh, I do so love a tragedy! I, I hear it, I look up to him, and I'm like, Do you want to be next? Because I'm more than willing to cut more than just a hand off. I'm afraid that I'm a bit occupied for the time being, but oh, I'm, I'm sure. sure that I will see you again. And, um, maybe listen next time. Uh, 
the figure turns into a bat and flies away. Jessamine, probably with tears in her eyes, is going to try to shake Cloud. Kind of be like, wake up, it's not funny anymore. Isaac I... is going to very gently place the non-spiny hand on your shoulder, Jessamine. No, it's not funny anymore. You can get up now. Oh my god. I uh I see what I see what happens and um I kind of take Cloud and I pick him up. And I kind of, uh, I kind of walk into the church, um, and I kind of look back at Rogar, and I give him a look of, like, keep your company. Um, and I walk into the church with his body. I pick up right. Jessamine and put her on my shoulders, and say, "Hey, do you have any other stories you want to tell me?" I could tell you um, about how me and Cloud met. I'd love to hear it. I tell him the story. Um, inside the church, you see there are several destroyed pews. There are Splashes of blood. Uh, the priest very clearly didn't go out without a fight. Milivoj is sitting in the corner, injured but still alive. Uh, you can see that he is holding Yorshka and Yeska. They are both crying into his shoulders. I kind of. <clears throat> I like bodies. Uh, Sorry, I lay Cloud's body down, and um, I I don't pray to a particular god, but um, I start praying. I rolled a nat twenty for that. <laughs> um, it's twenty seven. Um, kind of say to a prayer. I'm like, um, I know, I know that uh, none of the gods probably can hear me, but uh, hopefully that uh, there's some kind of justice in the world. Um, I'm not I'm not really particularly me and Cloud had our um, we had our differences but he was a good friend beyond everything else. Um, I stand up um, I look towards I look towards the grave digger and I say and I don't say anything. I just look at him. I said, good luck. And I walk, um, I walk out towards the church to see and try to find the priest's body and uh, give him also another prayer. I asked Before... Rogar to take me inside the church. Before anything else happens in the material plane, um, cloud you open your eyes and and for a moment everything is bright you rub your eyes and as you look around you you see the world around you as everything has just happened you see Orson take you inside the church and pray over your body. You see Jessamine tearily telling Rogar stories about how you met. You see Talia trying her very best to keep it together, standing right next to her. And then you see a figure that you don't quite recognize. It's a tall woman with pale skin, 
wearing a black feathered robe, holding a scythe with white hair. She takes you in, pulls you into a hug. Thank you for being so good to Jessamine. I know she requires a little bit of patience, but you have made her so much stronger. I know that your mother God will take you back with open arms. I never... I never had to be patient with Jessamine. Um, just, I know it's too late for me, but please don't make it too late for her. She nods and leads you into the light. Everything around you fades, and soon you find yourself alone again. Surrounded by the whimsical, colorful plants of home. You take a look down at yourself, and you find that you are in the body of a hummingbird. You're home again. I would like to um, take Cloud's body as best I can. And I'd like to um, take all the flowers that I found on my walks and put them around him in his hair because I know that he would um he'd want to be with flowers and I'm going to pray I'm going to basically say dear Raven Queen I usually don't have this much issue with death because I know that everyone comes to you when they die and that doesn't seem so bad but I guess I thought he would be with me here longer I'm sure that wherever you put him is where he needs to be right now. But I just ask, if possible, that his body not be allowed to be desecrated or turned undead. He doesn't deserve that. Take care of him, please. As you finish your prayer, a hand very gently lays itself on your shoulder. You look and you can't see anyone there. And there's a very gentle chime from outside. You see as Isaac bursts in through the door and reports that the vampire spawn that were lining the streets have disappeared. Um, <clears throat> uh, I see Isaac, uh, like, I see Isaac burst through the door. I'm like, hey, let's, uh, let's talk about this outside. Um, like, I, and I know just, I mean, like, wants her time alone with Cloud, so, um, I bring him outside and, um, I kind of, I kind of tell him what I, I um, saw from the bones, 
and say like they're the town is still unsafe and we don't know no, that's just the thing the bones are glowing oh i um i start i start dashing i start dashing to the mausoleum You see, Talia comes with you, and when you arrive, you can see that the bones are glowing. Talia is able to realize that it was Jessamine's blessing of these grounds. Uh, It has made the town safe again, and... Well, that's by proxy, but more importantly, the... The graveyard here is marked as hollowed ground again. And that will let Cloud's soul rest. Is Orchard still here? Orchard is sitting atop of Cloud's body right now. I'm gonna just gently stroke her. Oh, gently. I'm gonna just gently stroke her, and I'm gonna whisper, I'm gonna take care of you now. You'll be with me. Uh, I don't know if Isaac was, I don't know if Isaac was looking, uh, was coming after us, but I said, um, so, Isaac, um, what I'm gonna need you to do um is you're gonna need you're gonna need some defensive detail around this place and some and people you can trust because it's very it's very obvious that uh (laughs) it's very obvious that we've lost a lot and i'm not very happy about that um i um we're working on it uh uh I think that for now, I'm going to start digging. Yeah. um, I kind of take a deep breath. Um, Orzen tries his very hardest to hold back tears and um, kind of clasps his hand against Isaac's shoulder and like starts holding it tighter and tighter and then just lets go and um he sits he sits out he sits outside towards the front um back against back against one of the pillars with his arms crossed waiting for the rest of the party to gather themselves however long it'll take um alia is yes cloud um at Chat. some point while Jasmine is taking care of Cloud's body. Um, Orchard would have come perch on her shoulder and just like nestle into her hair. Yeah. Talia has kind of tinkered together a shovel and she starts digging um, between the trees. She doesn't want to leave the hollowed ground, but she knows that Cloud would like to be closer to nature. I help her best I can. Yeah, yeah of course you can. You... And when... Uh, when the... I- Isaac takes the shovel from, from Milavoj and comes out to help. When it's all done, um, I'd like to just see if there are any other flowers that I can find just to put around. Sure. Um, There are are flowers that grow around the church. You're able to pick a whole colorful collection of of wildflowers. And you notice that as you put them on the grave, they they're almost able to take root and continue to grow there.
would like to um, take out some candles from my priest's pack. Just light a couple. After Cloud has been buried and the flowers have taken root, you're able to light some candles and looks really good for a grave. <laughs> I'd like to hug Talia. She very willingly takes your hug. I'd she imagine hugs you back and she'd probably want to start leading me away. Yeah. She she hugs you back for a moment before kind of squatting down and doing her best to pick you up <laughs> like a baby on her on her hip and she guides you toward the end. I go right to bed. I can't do anything else. I can't sleep. I'm, at, no, I'm the very opposite, I cannot sleep. Um, it's less of a sleep, and it's more of one of those depression like nap things where like you're in bed and like it's like you're sleeping but you're not yeah but for me i'm i just can't sleep um and uh orson starts to feel a very uh very familiar feeling of regret of not being able to do anything for his family similar to cloud and he just any uh and he's constantly thinking about what he could have done better. Um, yeah. Alia buries herself in the Tome of Strahd, trying to, trying desperately to find something that can help you defeat him. If Rogar is willing, I'll tell him more stories. <laughs> I'll try at least. Uh, I was just about to say I would assume that they gave me a room, but yeah. um... you're all in the same room. <laughs> oh, okay. Awesome. It's, uh, the uh, inn only has two or three. Gotcha. Um, yeah, yeah, but I, I, I stay with Jessamine um, for as long as I can. Yeah, we do have space now too. So. Um, yeah. Wow. With that. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> oh, God, guys. Oh, my God. Damn. We'll see you next week. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Bye. Guys.